Bop. Okay, welcome in. Best of 21 between Viper and Yo. We just did the calcs, and I think it's over 160 games have been played in this tournament so far, and it's only five competitors, so impressive amount of games. I think I've probably cast 150 something of those. I think the only ones I haven't cast were the first day of uh, Vinchester Hera. So that's kind of an incredible number, and we're finally on the final set. Viper playing as the Portuguese here, a sieve that he's known for. He's going to be matching up against Yo in the red, playing as the Hindustanis, and we have Arabia to start things off. So we'll see what Yo can do with Hindustanis up against Portuguese. Doesn't seem like the greatest sieve matchup for Hindustanis, and Hindustanis have been getting weaker over the last year or so. I think players are just realizing now exactly how underwhelming they are compared to where they used to be, and well... Yo is a yo is a strange cat, so we'll see how he manages this situation. I could I could honestly see him going into Gulam's right away, <laughs> just like wall up, castle Gulam. Hindustanis don't have knights, and Yo really likes his knights, which is unfortunate. He's not really a camel guy. He'll make them if he needs to, but he's not really into spamming them outrageously. However. Viper is on the way to the Feudal Age. Viper is going up with 20 population, and Viper is opening with a Men-at-Arms type of build. Or is it a modified Drush? Is it the two Militia Drush? It looks like Men-at-Arms if he's building the mining camp. He was housed there a little bit, but it's fine. He was only housed on a Militia. And Mr. Yo going up to Feudal, and Mr. Yo is likely going to open Scout soon. They should get their eco bonus the way it was. You mean the fishing gather rate bonus? That bonus was terrible because it just made them like an instant win on some maps. Especially the custom maps with a lot of fish. It wouldn't impact them on Arabia. Oh, the Vil discount. Okay. This Vil is on top of the lumber camp. Dude, that is the pile of already chopped wood, villager. Why are you chopping this pile? There's perfectly good trees over here. It's, uh, are you just pretending to work? I mean, it's incredibly efficient. She's just dropping off all the wood immediately to that lumber camp. So it is a two militia drush, and I guess that house uh, problem really hurt Viper because these militia would have been here probably like 15, 20 seconds ago. As Viper tries to lame a, a, a sheep for Mr. Yo, and he does end up forcing Yo to hit that with his town center. Viper would have already been on this wood line, but Mr. Yo already has scouts coming out. He is uh, going to have a spearman heading over as well to help out against that scout from Viper. And behind this, Viper, unsurprisingly, adding archers. That's the build. Two militia into some archers to support. Here's the spearman now for Mr. Yo as he brings the scout over. Viper is buying himself a little bit of time, and he's forcing the first few scouts uh, for Mr. Yo to come over. And that's good. He's buying himself, you know, maybe a minute, two minutes to mass those archers behind. And once he has two archers, he can make a choice. He can send them forward, potentially with this spearman, which is what it looks like he's going to do. And then he'll send this spearman Maybe to uh, protect the gold on this side if Yo decides to bring the scouts forward. But right now he's tracking the army for Mr. Yo and the militia. You ask why go for two militia early. This is why. Look at how much time it's bought him. The scout should be at his base right now attacking him. And that was a very limited investment to buy yourself like a minute and a half in early feudal to mass archers. It just synergizes super well. And here comes Viper. Two spearmen, three archers, two scouts is not, or three scouts is not going to be enough against that. Viper is also going to spot these units, and he'll know. Okay, not coming to my base immediately. I have some time, and there's no way with two half HP scouts and only three in total that he's going to take out my army. So really, really good stuff from Viper. He's going to go through this same area again and try and target this wood line, and we see Yo's solution to that. He's build a wall to the TC. He always has this wood line to retreat to if he needs to abandon this. So he's just going to secure behind here. He's not going to go to any big lengths to just try and wall this off and protect this wood line. He knows he can leave that at any point. So really, really good stuff. 
Fletching is in for Viper. Queuing up more archers behind, and he's got the full walls down. And this, oh, this is just a perfect setup for Portuguese, isn't it? You're playing archers, which is typically slower, and you should be on the defensive um, early. But your militia bought your, yourself a lot of time. And now your opponent, who is playing scouts and should be the aggressor, has been playing defensively this whole time. You're fully walled. You've got a safe gold, and you've got archer pressure on his base with Portuguese. Everything's coming up Millhouse for Viper right now. He's going to like the position he's in. Yo's going for skirms. Yo's going for uh, just kind of a, a more defensive approach right now. And the skirms are taking out the spearmen. And once the spearmen are gone, the scouts can dive on these archers. Just needs to take this guy out. Viper doing a good job. The correct angles, avoiding the shots from the skirmishers. But... That Spearman's a little bit out of position, and these scouts are going to dive here. That Spearman is going to take damage from these skirms, and it looks like Yo won't have any scouts left over. Just one. But he's going to be able to clear this, and Viper is not coming forward with another army. So Viper's planning on just sitting, maybe sneaking some archers around, but likely just thinking about Castle Age and that crossbow mass that's going to look so appealing to him. Did Yo even scout Viper's base? Okay, saw this stuff over here. What's Viper see? Viper sees everything, right? Just doesn't see the main gold, but he, he has to know it's over here somewhere. He saw the secondary over there. Every game is a wood game if you try hard enough. Okay. Here comes Viper sneaking out with the crossbows. He's coming back to this wood line, which Yo has gone out to. And Yo is sending one skirmisher there. Two skirmishers there. Without the armor, they won't be enough to fight five archers. But maybe he can make another one. Nope. Not queuing up anything else. Sending the skirms forward. And he's just going to go be annoying. He knows he's not getting any damage with these. <laughs> maybe, maybe like a more conservative player would have kept them at home. But Yo realizes that he needs to track the movements from Viper. Maybe he'll find something. And uh, he's going to have to abandon this woodline once again. Did Viper see that villager? Oh, he sees it. Oh, he sees it. And Yo just goes for a journey. Viper doesn't chase. Goes back to the lumber camp. He realizes there's been a bit of idle time there for Mr. Yo. It hasn't been super clean. But Yo is still in a good position to click up. Viper's going to be up slightly before him. And Yo will probably go for what? Like a lead skirm approach? Siege workshop? Forward? Randomly? Probably. It is Mr. Yo after all. Lead skirm at home. Siege workshop forward. Just super randomly. Yo, Toboff. Thank you for the eight months. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kush Tornadoes. Thank you for the seven months as well. A little, little bit of micro never hurt anybody. Certainly hurt Mr. Yo a little bit, though. As Viper microing down the skirms. Still no armor on those. And if Yo wants to go into elite skirm, we'll see the armor come in shortly. There it is. Viper's going to run away. This guy is not being moved. Yo is very busy with other things. He's vibing out with the camel currently. The camel got nervous. Oh, the camel's coming back for more. A very flirtatious camel there. Oh, he's even brought friends. Thanks for the casts. Now I know how to spot the best corner in my games. Ooh. Bitch, get out of the way. That's my man. Okay. <clears throat> Viper gets the castle age. Archers come and uh, pressure the woodline. And Mr. Yo needs to retreat back to this woodline again. He's been doing a lot of moving. I think if we look at the moving eco percentage. I love this screen. And we will see Yo with more than 20 minutes more moving eco than Viper. 
The idle economy has actually been really solid from both. 0.9% overall. 1.5% overall for Mr. Yo. That's pretty impressive. As he does get Elite Skirm, gets Bodkin. He'll also need that second armor upgrade. And he'll probably send a villager out at some point to like... Let's see what he can spot. Siege Workshop here or something. How much you want to bet? Otaka, thank you for the three months. Appreciate it. Let's go. There's the second armor upgrade. Behind this, Viper is adding two TCs, by the way. He's very comfortable. And he's also added knights, too, because he saw the skirmisher switch coming. We got a camel here from Mr. Yo. Like I said, not the biggest camel guy in the world. And Viper also has units in the middle. If you know about Mr. Yo, which he certainly does... And you've played him many times. You should have a feeling uh, that he at some point will come forward. And you should just be keeping units along the sides or in the middle. Just odd units scouting that area. Making sure you intercept that villager early. Not sure it's really a position where Yo can do that yet though. Scout is now staring into a wood line. Wonderful. Aha. Best corner. Decent. Interesting. Terrible. Best. This is best. This is the best corner for sure. 100%. Third TC there for Mr. Yo. Camel's coming forward. Skirm's coming forward. Siege Workshop already there for Viper. <clears throat> and will Yo send the villager? Is it this villager? Yeah, it's that guy. He's coming forward. Trust. Trust. We'll track him. We'll keep an eye on him. Skirm's pushing in. They have the plus two armor. Viper will be not making a Maganel yet. Or a Scorpion. There we go. He just queues one up. And Buddy is still working on the TC. Wait a second. Just wait for it, folks. A professional map viewer would never evaluate corners. Yep, that's right. Just wait for it. He's coming forward for that Siege Workshop. Just, just wait. It's this dude. It's this very man. Don't worry about it. What's going on over here? Nice just chilling. Scout's just chilling. Oh, it was her, dude. And it's not forward because of the knights from Viper. Damn, I'm no longer Mr. No. That's fine. It was her. A professional wizard is never late. Well, there's none of those here. We may have wizards, but they're certainly not professional. Camel's pressuring. Yo only has five of them. And we have four knights from Viper. And the knights are not here. Where are the knights? The knights are still back here. Viper is going for a castle now. On this hill. Also, Mr. Yo is going for an outpost. Adding in a monastery too. And he's going to come over here. Try and pressure. But Viper seems so comfortable. 69 villagers. Wheelbarrow is in. Second wood upgrade is in. He's got the crossbows. He's got a lead and he's just trying to uh, expand upon his lead economically. Doesn't feel really any threat from this army whatsoever. If the camels get in, they can be dealt with by the crossbows. Especially once the crossbows have ballistics. Skirmishers, there's a couple options, right? He could use the knights that he made earlier if the camels are out of the picture. Or he could use this mangonel which is coming over and Yo needs to avoid this. And Yo just gets out of dodge. I think Yo's done a pretty good job keeping Viper away from his economy, though. And we look at the resources from Yo, and they're looking pretty solid. 32 on farms is really good. Viper has 10 less on food. Yo's not really investing into that much military, right? He got the armor for his skirms early. Produced 14 of them and then stopped. Only 5 camels this entire time. And he's starting to bring in the relics, too. Also, I like the fact that he's housewalling behind this palisade. He needs to complete it, though. Definitely needs some more houses here. Because you don't want any easy access areas for Viper to come into. More ranges for Viper. A couple organ guns as well for the fans. 
And yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. The knight's coming in this way. Yo has villagers nearby. He has 1,500 food in the bag. Oh my god, yo. He's waiting for the market now. He clicks up to Imperial Age. Still had 600 in the bank. He was idling his TCs to go up to Imp, but I don't think food was his issue. 91 villagers for Vipers. 75 for Mr. Yo. Take a look at this uh, screen instead of the percentages. Only 40... Only 41 seconds of idle TC time for Viper with three TCs pretty much immediately upon reaching Castle Age. And as soon as I say that, of course, it starts racking up here as Viper loses the Mangonel on this side. That could be annoying. However, Viper is still holding the position over here. Still has his crossbows. Now with ballistics. Husbandry on these knights, so they're going to run faster than the camels. And uh, he's kind of preventing Mr. Yo from going for a castle around this area. He doesn't know that you only has 200 stone, though. Love to have easy access areas to come into... Okay. Extremely comfortable. Bye-bye, Skirms. They got value. They held Viper in for a very long time. Although Viper kind of chose to be held in. He didn't really want to be aggressive in any sense. As he splits away from the Mangonel shot. Organs not doing as much damage as they used to. Not as reliable as they used to be. But against low Pierce Armor units? Oh baby. Those things. Oh those things hit different. I think Yo is just going to go what? Like hand cannons? What is he gearing up towards? Look at the resources from this man. He's trying to survive until he gets the imp, and then it's what? A, a instant chemistry? Against Portuguese who already have crossbows? It doesn't seem like the greatest plan. Bop! There it is. Oh, he missed! But there's another Mangonel coming out. There's another Mangonel coming out. There's another Mangonel coming out. There's a man <laughs> What? Dude, someone... Th listen, we need a group of surveyors. I'm assembling a team of surveyors construction workers, engineers to find exactly where the hill is here that Viper was sitting on whereby he only gets put to 1 HP from a direct shot from a Mangonel. We need VAR, RAV, instant replay technology, IRT. We need everything. And Yo needs all the eco upgrades as well. Getting final wood upgrade, getting handcart, getting chemistry now. And he is going to go into hand cannons. Viper is just playing Castleage. And Viper... <laughs> he survived! He pulled away at the last second. He took like 10 HP worth of damage to one crossbow. Damn, dude. Was an attack ground. Yeah, I understand it was an attack round. I understand that attack rounds generally do less damage than a right click. But I also understand that he attacked round right in the center of the fucking Mangonel, bro. There were some things that should just not happen. Can we check res collected? Viper's going to be 4,500 ahead. 3k. There's another outpost there. Yo is at 111 bills. Viper is at 123. And we're thinking about this Civ matchup in the late game. We are going to have gunpowder for Mr. Yo. And we are going to have Arbalist for Viper. And Viper's already got 40 of them. Like a villager strolling past the castle on damage. Those ones aren't as annoying if they have the right angle. If it's walking right towards the castle and it can't hit it, then it's annoying. Which happens a lot. So the unique tech is in for Mr. Yo, thereby giving his hand cannons plus two range. 
However, once Viper gets Bracer, they will have the same range as the uh, crossbows or arbalists or whatever. Nice shot there from Mr. Yo. Bombard cannons attacking these from behind. Hand cannons is not really usually the thing you want against crossbows or arbalists. However, Viper is throwing away his entire crossbow army or a big portion of it before he gets that Bracer arc upgrade. And that's incredibly important. Right now, Yo has five Pierce Armor on these hand cannons. So these crossbows are only doing two damage per hit. Once they get Bracer, once they get Chemistry, once they get the Arbalest upgrade, they're, go they're gonna be doing, what, five damage per hit? A lot more consistent. And there's Bracer, there's Chemistry. Arbalist upgrade is right there too. Cool. And there's the first castle from Mr. Yo. Conscription coming in first for Viper, so he won't have anything to push back this Treb immediately. He's going to have to wait for Chemistry to come in. Take a look at the extra resources. we got a mining camp out here from Yo and an outpost, so he's going to try and take that. Viper going for a stable over here as Yo stretches out for that stone. Still has a stone over here. Still has a gold over here. So he's going out to the neutrals first before taking his secondaries. We might be in for a long game here, folks. Also, a Hindustanis player can add in Ghoulams if he feels like it. Ghoulams are kind of underwhelming. Um, once you get full upgrades on your range units. Especially if Viper goes into hand cannons. However, Ghoulams do okay against organ guns because of the high, high pierce armor. More Trebs coming out. Bomber cannon still attacking away. Viper just playing very conservatively. Goes for a castle up there on the hill. Still is not stretched out for a second gold, which is kind of crazy, to be honest. And he is having some organ guns over here killing the villagers. Nice job. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know, as underwhelming as Hindustanis have seemed... Uh, through like the past year in recent tournaments and stuff this composition from them which is incredibly gold intensive and sometimes pretty hard to get into is really powerful the extra range hand cannons with trebs and bombard cannons and everything it can be very very powerful unfortunately Portuguese is just not the sieve you want to be matching up against when you're playing this they have so many options against it you can see a lot of them right now we've got the bombard cannons from Viper we also have the Arbalest from Viper. And the Light Cav as well. Potential to add in Fatorias too if this game is going super late. 148 villagers for Viper. Kind of crazy. Arbalist doing a lot better against his hand cannons than the crossbows did. And Yo is going to give up a Oh my god, he missed with all of them! Yo is going to give up a lot of hand cannons, but he does get two Bombard cannons. He's got two of his own. And he keeps just frying these light cap as they come in. However, Viper knows Yo can only keep this hand cannon mass up for so long. And Yo is down to 139 pop. Really running out of steam. Also, Viper over here with some Arbalist raiding. He's been raiding this uh, this gold over here too. He's got stables over on this side. And Yo has lost basically his entire army. Down to 21 military. Viper comes forward with a castle. We have more production buildings over here for Mr. Yo. But he's not really in a position to produce anything. Like 400 food is the most... He's been floating for a while. 10 on wood currently as Viper clears up that wood line. And now Viper just slow but steady. Pushing out into Yo's base. Otaka, thank you for the three months, dude. Appreciate it. 
Final armor upgrade coming in for you. What was that? Oh, he was right here. Yeah, I think uh, this is just a slow push from Viper that's going to crush Mr. Yo. Yo doesn't have any pressure. He's got no raids coming onto Viper's base. He's getting the final armor upgrade for his cavalry, but I don't think he even has Hassar yet. He's not even producing anything. Iron casting. Basically just trying to hold with gunpowder against units that should counter gunpowder. Hundred and ninety five population now for Viper. It's amazing the difference of these things attacking from nine range and these things attacking from one range. You get thirty of them shooting from nine range, they can't hit shit. And then it's like a firing line as soon as you're close to them. We need rifling on these guns. Viper raiding over here, being annoying. Mr. Yo going for another castle over here. He's back up to 160 population. He's got some light cap now. He's lost three relics at the front, and of course, Viper makes a monastery so he can snag these. He's got a monk coming from his monastery in the back. More light cap coming in, and Yo will be forced to go for a defensive castle there. Does he see that wood line at the back of his base? He doesn't. Could matter. Maybe. Probably not. And even herbal medicine coming in for Viper. Oh, man. That could have been so brutal. Would love to see Archibus as well. I don't think Archibus came in yet. Mr. Yo would love to have access to Archibus with this army comp. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh no, yo, stop. There's Archibus right now. Oh no, dude. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Guys, this is, this is an intimidating army. This is really intimidating. And Viper still has 1,200 gold in the bank. He's still got plenty of gold left to take. He can go for Fatorias if he needs. Does Viper have Siege Engineers? Yup. And that castle, I mean, you can try to repair it, yo. I don't think there's much to be done. As Viper now comes out and snags these relics. And it's only a matter of time before these guys are just dead, right? With Arquebus in. Yo doesn't look for one second. And Yo avoids all the shots. Great job. <laughs> that was Arquebus right there. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yo's kind of soloing this. One bomber cannon. Never mind. Oh, boy. Trying to get some good shots of his own. Still defending with bomber cannons. Yo is at 134 pop. 134 pop. And the thing that's really... Uh, bad for yo is that he hasn't gotten a raid on viper in so long like he's got some light cab over here but when's the last time we saw him in viper's base never literally never this game he has not been within 20 tiles of viper starting tc feels like one hundred and four to seven eco kd yup Yup. 88 villagers for Yo. Uh oh. Mr. Yo, Mr. Yo, Mr. Yo, Mr. Yo, Mr. What was that?
And the Arbalist pushing things back. The Light Cavern pushing things back. I think Mr. Yo is just getting warmed up here. He knows the game's over. Castle just falls. He's lost all the relics. We got five relics for Viper now. He's not raiding him really at all. He calls the GG now. And uh, that was exactly the type of game that Viper wants with Portuguese. I think Yo did okay with Hindustanis. But the problem is that comp. Like, the hand cannon comp is very powerful. But not against Arbless Bombard Cannon from your opponent. It's slow. Um, it's expensive to go for, which means that you're going to be a little bit slow getting into the Light Cav and Hussars of your own, and you never even got Hussar here. So it's like... I don't know. If you don't kill this castle and get a castle of your own right here, you're just dead. This is over. Literally over. You're willing to say that one game in. Nice. Eco, 20k more for Viper. More gold collected. More everything collected. Slightly more relic gold, too. Sheesh. Elorira, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. All right. Let's uh, mark down the win for Viper. Cool. Civ win for Portuguese. Civ loss for Hindustanis. Notice a difference in placement of those civs on their drafts. One is better than the other. Oh, your VOD gobbler. I see. Good. We need more of those. We need them to come out into the light. I want to see what Yo will do with Romans. Remember that game Yo played Romans and then just went boom into Cavalier? Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I, I get remember. a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. New S, thank you for the uh, 13 months. Appreciate it. Never seen a streamer do internet username pronunciation as well as Dave. What, did I get it right? I'm always worried that I don't get it right. I probably screw up so many of them. Don't don't bring don't bring Linus here. Linus, don't bring him. Okay, that's the one that I just never can get. I can't get that one. Okay, Mister Unvray or Unvray Linus Leonese. I I just I can't. Dude, there's too many options. Literally stun locked. What about my Dutch name? I just ha I need to fill my uh, mouth with uh, phlegm. <laughs> I gotta get no, no, I can't. It'll ruin my ability to cast for the rest of the day. I can't. Fun fact, people called Dave and Dutch called Dave. What? <laughs> What's the song name? It's Black Magic Woman by Santana. <laughs> song is a banger. Santana's really good, dude. We're going on to Yucatan. You can, Yucatan. And uh, it might be another long one here, folks. Maybe. We'll see. We're, we have Yo playing as Burgundians and Viper playing as Mongols. So Yo allowed Viper to get Mongols here. And uh, Viper kind of let Tato get Mongols when they were matching up against each other in the previous Best of 21 that Viper played. And he was playing Goss, and uh, he kind of got... 
He kind of got destroyed because Mongols are Mongols, you know? Very, very powerful civilization, especially with all of the extra hunt. As you see Viper coming forward, he's trying to lame the turkeys. He was like, that's fine. I'll come lame yours as well. And Viper's getting away with six of them. If Yo comes forward here, uh, could find a lot. He's actually finding the extra boars out here, which is great. Sees two of them. Viper. Does not see these. Oh, he does, and he's luring them in right away. Oh, my God. Yo, Viper is going to have the uber start. He might even see these boars when he tries to block this boar from coming in. Unless he's just going to... Oh, my God. He's going to do it all with the vill. He will see these. Does he get greedy? Does he go for them? Viper? Viper. Oh, don't lose the vill. He lost a bill the last time on Yucatan, didn't he? Oh my god, he's blocking. Look at how much food he has! No, Viper! Oh, here comes Yo! Here comes Yo! From left field! Downtown! With the scout! He doesn't do anything. And they just fight up against each other. <clears throat> Yo helped. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta... I, I don't know. Yo stole three turkeys as well. It's not bad, right? Viper sees these, though. And you know he's coming back out for those. Like, you know he's coming back out for those. Yo is gonna want to play pretty defensively, I think, here. And Viper might assume that he can just take advantage of this. And he's sending a villager right now to bring these two boars in. So Viper is gonna have... Three boars that you start with on Yucatan, plus the two extras, that's five, plus two more, that's seven boars with Mongols. Plus the six turkeys that he lamed from Mr. Yo. Plus the nine deer, plus the twelve berries. Minus the three turkeys that Yo took, and minus these three turkeys. So right now he's kind of equal on uh, on livestock or herdables. But this is this is a pretty ridiculous, ridiculous food eco that he's going to have. We can show the res collected between the two of them. And Viper is ahead by 200 food already. And he's even got like most of his villagers off of food now. As you see him. Taking out these final two boars. He's going to get to Feudal Age. Yo is going to go for the full walls. And, you know, if Yo or if Viper was playing Burgundians, he might even fish. Boom. But Viper is playing Mongols. Viper is probably going to be in a position to just simply go FC. Even. Still has these villagers on food. And yeah, does the result of this match matter that much? Uh, it's the difference between second and fourth place. It's, um, I think fourth is like 700 something dollars less than second. But I think both of these guys are, are going to win regardless. It'll be the same amount of effort put towards this set, whether it was for first place or second place. Look at this FC timing. Look at this. Viper is going to click Castle Age when Yo still has a minute and a half left to get to Feudal. <laughs> Yo does have that uh, that wood upgrade earlier than Viper, and Viper doesn't have it yet, but still, this is a ridiculous Castle Age time. Remember, it is a 9-ville start, but still, guys, eight and a half minutes in. Does Yo just GG when he sees that castle time? No, he knows Moggles, dude. He knows Moggles. Viper's gone for a sable. He'll probably open step lancers or something. And we'll just see what Yo can do. The problem for Viper is going to be the fact that um, <clears throat> he's spent so much time aging up here and not producing villagers. You can see Yo is at 26 vills, Viper's at 22. 
And he's got really fast hunt collection, but that means that he really doesn't have as much wood chopping as Yo does, and he won't have enough wood to go for extra military buildings like siege workshops or whatever. Never mind, he's adding two stables. Oh my god. So the boom would be pretty fragile for Viper at first because he couldn't afford the TCs, but it looks like Viper is actually going to go double stable step lancer. I don't know if Yo expects this. And these Palisade walls, if Viper waits till he has like five or six step lancers, aren't going to last very long. Very hard to wall behind as well because the step lancers will be killing them so quickly. And Viper also goes for a Siege Workshop. Oh, man. We didn't expect this. We thought there would be Greed. Definitely thought there'd be Greed. And I think Yo thought so as well. He's going to see the full open walls over here as they fight over the turkeys, which are basically pointless at this point. But he's not going to see the, the anything in the middle. He doesn't know anything about this. He sees a Step Lancer and he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. I know you're probably booming behind this. You're going to make one stable Step Lancers. As he's on the way to castle, not a single military building to be seen from Mr. Yo. And I don't think Yo's response is terrible, right? In a standard matchup like this. The Mongols usually try to get up to castle age as fast as they can. Go for a couple step lancers and add TCs behind. And start expanding their eco because it's fairly fragile. That fast step time. He's, you're not expecting double stable step lancer with a siege workshop behind. And right now, Yo is wishing he built that mining camp here and he can send everything to stone to help him out against it, but simply not the case. He's waiting for Castle Age. He'll probably add a monastery once he gets there. This is not walled, my friend. This is not walled right here, my friend. I mean, this is soon to be not walled either. <laughs> so maybe not the biggest issue over here. Monastery. Is it going to be a double monastery play? Could be. Trying to go for the walls here. TC won't help you, really. Another TC over here, which explains why he didn't go for the mining camp in the center. And even the monastery being denied now. Like I said, TC's not going to help you all that much. Viper's just going to be one-tapping these vills with the step lancers. Runs right through. He sees this TC as well. He still hasn't added a TC behind, and Yo will know that Viper is very low on villagers, but this is, uh, oh boy. That's just Mongols on Yucatan. That's simply Mongols on Yucatan. I don't know what you're, what, what, what is Yo supposed to do against that? Other than, like, an all-in feudal play. To try and, like, forward. By the time you even forward Viper... Remember, he went up to Feudal Age 21 population. By the time you're even here, if you go for a super aggressive Feudal Age, like Viper is already up to Castle Age. Crazy. Viper takes another game. It's just the food difference right there. Could FC Castilla work? I mean, I think he would have been slower to go up. I don't know. He probably gets the castle down, but his eco is still in shambles. I don't know. I know a pro caster who said it would be a long game on this map. Also doesn't... Yeah, that was me. It also doesn't help that their bases were super close for Yucatan. Like, that that benefits Viper if he's going for this super aggression, right? If the base was here, and then Yo's base was, like, over here or whatever, which is more standard, then Viper has longer to go to get there. Or Yo has more time to wall and whatnot. And, usually, if we're looking at these boar positions as well, which might be important, usually one player has two boars. Like, each each player has two additional boars. They're off to, like, the side somewhere. Both of their boars were in the center area where Viper could take them. So I think if, like, the map positions are different, 
Viper only gets two extra ones instead of four. I mean, he's still probably light years ahead, right? But... Hera died the same way to Tato. Yeah, Tato's wasn't as... Tato didn't make as many Step Lancers, though, as early. Or the Forward Siege. Tato added TCs behind, if I remember correctly. That was really aggressive from Viper. Uncharacteristically aggressive. Justice for Pluto. Thank you for the 21. Glad Recycler. Thank you for the 10. Thanks for uh, showing up here, people. Got a lot of people already. We're already on game three coming up. We can mark down the sieves here. And that's a win for Mongols. You can see why Viper drafted it first. Burgundians are first line for Mr. Yo as well. <clears throat> I would love to see Viper mix it up more often and go for aggression. I would as well, Birdman. When Viper goes all in like that, it just seems so clean a lot of the time. Like when you watch other players and you look at an all in, um, where they're not really adding much eco behind and whatnot, it seems kind of frantic, right? But Viper's all ins have like this weird blend of secureness to them. It's hard to explain. That was devastating, it was. All right, we're on to Nomad. Yo hasn't been doing that great in Nomad. I think he's lost both of the Nomad 1v1s he's played in this tournament. People usually ban Nomad from him, but uh, Yo has been trying to make some stuff work with sieves that are maybe not as good because he trusts in his abilities. And he's got Berbers again. Last time we watched him on Nomad, it was Berbers versus Spanish. And that was a long game, but it was a game that Yo should have been out of from like minute 10. <laughs> and he just hung around. Still lost though. <clears throat> Is Yo washed? No, he just, he's been picking like underdog sieves for Nomad. Once again, we find ourselves in the same situation where he picks Berbers, right? Because he trusts in his Nomad abilities. And Viper picks Malians, which is generally considered to be a better Nomad sieve. Last time it was Berbers for Yo, it was Spanish for Hera? I can't remember who it was. Vinchester? I can't remember. And he lost. But anyway, Berbers are here again. And uh, they're not a bad Nomad Civ. They're actually pretty decent. You can get the villagers um, to the TC placement faster because of the move speed at the beginning. And with nine villagers, that does actually kind of matter more than with three. You also have faster ships, which is great. You have a better Imperial Age composition than the Malians with Camel Archers. Just one of the best death balls in the game if you can get there. Berber is one of the top sieves for Nomad. I'm aware of that. But they are not as good as Spanish or Malians for Nomad 1v1. Do, 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 do. Okay. Viper, decent TC spot. It's on the stone, it's on the wood line. There's a gold nearby. However, that's the only gold on this side of the map. Look at the generation here. If you draw a line through the center, there's one gold on it, and then there is this one over here. Oh, I guess there's one down here. Okay, that's okay. It's not great, though. If Yo comes forward, which he likely will, Yo loves doing that once he's identified where Viper is. He could cut this gold off and it could be problematic for the snake. Both getting some additional boars in. Let's check their scouting. Yo with some good scouting. He sees the dock over here and I think he found he found this TC. Because he lost a sheep. And he knows the dock is over here. So he likely knows the Viper is here. Take a look at Viper. 
sees a house up here, which could indicate a dock. And he's moving up this way with his villagers, so he might be thinking about forward dock pressuring Mr. Yo over here. But he doesn't know where the main TC is. Doesn't know about this at all. <clears throat> is the wood discount of Malians enough to make it top tier Nomad? Yep. You can get the fishing ships out faster. Um, you also have a very versatile tech tree, right? Nomad sieves, you usually want like... Um, the ability to make knights is important. The ability to go for a monk siege push is important. Um, chemistry units like bomber cannons and stuff can be really important for a faster Imperial Age as Yo tries to wall in this villager from Viper. And Viper is going to manage to sneak away from here. Even against Berbers, he's going to manage to deke this villager. I just know it. He might even wall it in. So Yo is just backing up. He doesn't care. What about Celts for Nomad? Celts are okay. The wood chopping bonus is nice. The tech tree is not. Malians just have a very, like, it's like a jack of all trades kind of tech tree. And that's good for Nomad because you never know what you're going to need to make. Okay, Feudal Age is in from Viper, and he is going for the water pressure. So he's going to open with galleys here. Make a couple of them. Try and snipe the fish from Mr. Yo. And Mr. Yo saw the Feudal Age time, knows the dock is over here. He's going to go for the full walls on this side. He's even going to lure in this boar. Oh, my God. Man, it's coming long distance, and Yo is just playing FC. FC into what, though, is the question. Does he go to stone and try and get camel archers? We don't know. Barracks. Okay. Is it knights for him? See the fishing ship's kind of running away now. As Yo lures back this boar. He is Berbers. So, I mean, he doesn't really have to worry about walling... Or stalling out this uh, this board with some foundations. He could just kind of click back to his TC and hope that he remembers in time that the boar is coming in and he doesn't lose this villager by accident. <laughs> Telephone? Yeah. I don't know why that rang with volume when I turned the, the fucking volume down on my phone. I have no idea. It should be on vibrate right now. Another dock at the back here for Mr. Yo. Is Viper chasing with a galley? He is. And Yo might opt to uh, go for some buyers of his own when he reaches Castle Age. He's got a stable here. He's about to click up. As he drops off that food, he's going to be fine. He's got both the requisite buildings. And we'll complete a dock over here. And it is a fire galley for Mr. Yo. As he's just trying to save his fish. Go up to the Castle Age, maybe get some knights on the field. He's got basically half of the map somewhat secured behind Palisade Walls currently. And he'll try and harass the fish from Viper as well. Fire Galley coming out up here. The ships are faster for Berbers. They are faster. And Mr. Yo is just trying to repair, and he's out repairing the damage. <laughs> the galley is the same speed as this fire galley. You can see Viper's fire galley is slower than Yo's. And Yo will need to back up, and Yo is going to try and save his fish once again. He's got some fires in here. He'll want that war galley upgrade. It's going to be tough, though, because he's also producing scouts at the same time. You can see him over here. He's going to find the gold from Viper, and he's going to like the looks of that because there's nothing in between him and this gold. And he also finds the villagers. Oh, my God. Amazing quick walls there from Viper. Oh, my God. He 
He is kind of trapped in here, but it's sick. It's still sick. Archer's here with Spearman to support. Viper needs military. Like, if you're Viper and you're looking at your base, you need something to lock down this gold. A TC is an option, although it's likely not going to be enough against Yo. Yo will eventually come forward with Siege. Um, a castle would be great, but you don't really want to allocate too many villagers towards that at the moment. So right now he's just going for archers and spearmen forward. Going to try and secure this and prevent any villagers from coming forward from Mr. Yo or any siege or anything like that. Yo will go for the armor. He does not go for the war galley upgrade. And he's just zooming along with his fast ships from the Berbers. He still has some fish alive. So great job for Mr. Yo to keep these... Uh, Fishing ships living and fishing the entire time. As he now queues up some more fires over there. Has a demo coming up in the north. Viper going for that war galley research. And Yo extending with a few more TCs on this side as he tries to get in over here on the gold from Viper. But Viper's not having it. One, two, three, four, five. Yo has got some fish alive. That's great. That's a good cheer. Were you a cheerleader by any chance in high school? Maybe middle school? Did you go to summer camp a lot? Or I was banned. Oh. One, two, three, four, lure the bo No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. One, two, three, four, let's watch Yo lure the boar. That works. I would be a good cheerleader, I think. Here's a forward siege workshop. Viper still hasn't done anything about this. He is on stone, so he's thinking about it. And he's got some monks here, which is great. He could also get redemption, which is important with Malliance. Nice little piece of their tech tree. But he's only got four on gold right now, and he sends more villagers to stone. So he immediately recognizes the threat of this siege workshop. He's going to go to stone. Gabettos would give him a really great option against this as we see him still defending over here on his fish. Yo is over here with a few fires. Viper has seven fish still. Yo still has four. And Yo comes forward with the mangonel. And this is the most predictable thing of all time. Viper will simply pull the villagers away. Doesn't have the gold to go for redemption. He's trying to get the stone to go for a castle. But even if he does that, the castle is going to have to go defensively if Yo is still forward here. So I think redemption probably would have been a better bet than the castle. Immediately anyway. Or the rede redemption would have enabled the castle placement. But Viper seems content to just sit for the moment. Yo... <laughs> <laughs> trying to clear up this repair villager. He's going to find the fish and he's going to kill the fish. And now the fire is... Well, the fire is not being useful at all. It's actually blocking those fishing ships. A couple of them go down. The scout will get roasted. No, the scout finds the villager. The fires find the fish. But on this side, Yo is also losing his fishing ship. So I guess everything equals out in the end. Monk from Viper is going to snag this relic very casually and pull it away. As Yo continues... To push on this side. And Viper now has enough stone for that castle. He really wants the placement over here. Probably. But he's forced to place it back here. And Gabetto should be enough to clear this up now. If Yo wants to combat Gabettos, He's going to have to add in monks with this. Or maybe more knights or something. It's going to be disgusting though. I think he'll just retreat for the time being. And try to get to a castle of his own. For some... Uh, Camel archers. Nice snipe there from Viper. They're inside of each other. We are the double ship.
Five, six, seven, eight. See that vill open the gate. That's a good one. That's a good one. Daniela Dave chat. Thanks for helping me get my day started off right. It's always fun hanging out with y'all. I'll ignore the cursed emoji that you put on the end of that, but I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Appreciate all of you being here. One nine four two. What is Mr. Yo going to do? <laughs> Dude, where did you learn how to count? <laughs> My man's got that Seven Eleven education. <laughs> Got that gas station diploma, dude. <laughs> All right. Beto's coming in. Who started that ban? Mm-hmm. Poll. I'm down with it, actually. I vote. Put me in for a yes. The Beto's. Pulling back, and Redemption does come in from Viper. Redemption's going to be useful here if you want to push with Monk Gabetto, because the Monks give you an option against the buildings, right? Then you don't have to add a ton of Siege. That's probably just going to be sniped from Mr. Yo. And Yo goes for the castle. A little bit further back. Doesn't go for it forward. Does have two stones here, so giving up this position is probably not optimal. But he's got resources behind his walls, and he's walled off. I mean, he's walled off half the map, right? Viper has snagged two relics already. There's another relic up here. There's another relic over here. And there's a third one somewhere. We don't know where it is. And this is what redemption gives Viper. The ability to convert the production buildings from Mr. Yo. And then he can switch the conversion over to the knight. And bam! Viper's got a knight. Oh my god. Yo adding more fish behind this. A few more. He's adding in some camel archers as well. And his eco is looking okay. 72 villagers. No wheelbarrow, but Berber fill speed helps. Just missing that second wood upgrade, which Viper had a while ago, and Yo is just going to add more farms. Going to add more food eco. Gabettos are very annoying. Still no Bod Canero for these Camel Arches either. Dave, you're my favorite low-income streamer. You know, you could change that in a second, Sparka. You could change the low-income thing in a second. <laughs> could they, though? Oh, that is true. Theoretically, they could. Hypothetically. Really? How so? Just a, a wealth transfer. <laughs> Alright, Viper pushing forward again. He's still got the Gabettos over here. He's got the Mangonel over here. Yo will add another Siege Workshop. I don't think it's very smart to go for another Mangonel. You have three units that can counter your, your Mangonel, but he's going to do it anyway. Just maybe buy himself a little bit more time. He's still trying to take out this Mangonel, which he does. And he's going to be able to take out these Gabettos, or maybe, unless Viper Micra's away from them. He sacrificed her totally to get away with the other, the other units. And stretches out for a TC down there. We still are running into the issue if Yo controls this. And if we look at the minimap, Yo has control in many areas. There's red all over the place. And he's added more fishing ships as well to capitalize on the water. Uh, if we look at the map here, Yo is still controlling the majority of the golds, the majority of the stones on this map. And Viper is going to need to push out towards the middle and gain back some of that control. Yo managed to clear the Mangonel from Viper. That's good. I think that's worth probably the Mangonel investment that he made. Now Viper can't really push here anymore. And his Gabettos are a little bit stuck on that side as Yo comes down. Over on this side. 
Yo sees everything on this map. Oh my god. Yo just can't see that, but he... I mean... Since Viper was on this gold, he can assume that there's not a gold back there. And yeah, he knows all of the resource placements here. And that information in the hands of a man like Yo on Nomad is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. One, two, three, four Gabettos on the dance floor. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. These units look like magicians with capes. They kind of do look wizardly, don't they? Maybe not as yellow, but as a different color. Like if we if we were to switch them over to like purple, they look like a magician. Like they. Anyway, there's a. <clears throat> They look fabulous. Okay. There's a castle here from Viper. He places it here. Then he decides against it. He's going to place it over here. And he's on the way to Imperial Age. Where are the camel archers from Yo? They're pushing forward here. They're getting the armor. They're killing some monks. But there's a castle here from Viper. And Yo is going to come back. Yo is going to investigate this. See what he can do. I'm not sure there's much that he can do. That's a lot of Gabettos. Even with Camel Archers, which should do well against them. Two Mangonels and that many Gabettos and the threat of a castle going up, you can't engage there. He's simply going to have to retreat and look for damage elsewhere. Not enough gold right now to go up to the next age. Yo might need to consider selling his wood to get there. Oh, he already had a queued. Okay, never mind. Apparently he already had Imperial Age queued. <laughs> It just has a casual 12k food left in the bank after he clicks up to Imperial Age. That's nice. We like that. And thumb rings coming in for him. Light cap coming in for him. Stone walls. I really like this play from Yo. He's just going to try and slow Viper down. And he still has the threat of these Camel Arches in the back. So Viper has to respect that. Is coming in with the Knight. Against these mangonels. I think he could have taken at least one of these out. Keep that thing alive though. And it's Kazba. As Yo dips, ducks, and dives around these Gabetto. Viper finds him now. And if Viper really wanted to win that fight, he would have tried to get close to these camel archers. I think at long range, the Camel Archers are just going to win, right? They have Ballistics. They have Thumb Ring now. They have more mobility. And Viper's not going to take that straight up engagement. He's just going to try and push from the side. Chemistry coming in for him. Double Siege Workshop ready to produce Bombard Cannons. He's got the Trebs coming out from this one. Mr. Yo is just waiting for Imperial Age to come in. And he still only has one castle. He's not taking stone here. Like, you're getting Kazba. You're going into camel archer production. It feels like you should have more on stone than just these guys over here, right? Infantry armor coming in for Viper. Could go for the champ scarls, but that's likely just for the Gabettos to support his treb push and bomber cannon push in the center. Camel Archers killing the Gabettos over here. Camel Archers doing quite well against these ones over here. Still no Bracer on these. And Yo has decided he's just going to make a full switch into Hussar. He has 1,400 food in the bank, so he's got plenty of resources to spam him as Viper goes for another castle. And Viper continues to push this one down. More staples coming. Malians can go for Camel. They can go for Farimba Light Cav of their own. The Gabettos are going to do pretty well against Hussar as well. And this castle is not going to survive for very long. Looks like Yo has switched off the idea of Camel Archer though. Which means that he can put all of his available stone into repairing this and buying himself enough time to get into that Hussar transition. Viper actually converted a Hussar, so he knows all about this from Yo. And he's going into Camel now. K 
Camel Archers have been extremely annoying at the back of Viper's base, though. 9, 10, 11, 12, Viper playing very well. There you go. That's okay. In Camel Mirror, who wins here? I don't think we're going to see a Camel Mirror. Could be wrong, though. Whoa! That was a sick attack round for Viper, and that was a sick double split from... Yo, did you see that shit? He already had his unit split. He selected a new group, and it automatically splits when you retask it somewhere. Because it's already on that split formation for that group. That was pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Hussar working away on the bomber cannons. They don't have many attack upgrades. And oh, yo is going for camel. I was wrong. You were right. Well done. In the camel war, who wins? Berbers or Malians? I think the cheapness might win out at the end. Seven plus four camels versus what? Seven plus seven camels. But one is cheaper. It's only two extra attack. Farimba's coming in. Man, Yo's gonna lose another Nomad. Crazy, dude. And Yo's getting raided back here by Camels. He doesn't notice. Viper has all the solutions to these Hussar. Yo going for camels of his own though, and he's got 10 queued. He's got 15 on the field currently. Farimba is in for Viper. The camels are cheaper for Yo. Viper's still killing villagers. Eco KD 29 to 15. But the Trebs are kind of dying over here. We saw some bomber cannons being chased away on that side. Viper's camels are disappearing. Viper's camels are disappearing, folks. Military count now in favor of Mr. Yo. However, he's still being raided at the back. And Viper still has the forward castle, and Viper still has a great position. Would a janitor switch? A janitor switch? No. They don't counter anything here. That would probably be the worst tech switch I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, Viper saving up for hoardings. Yo going for another castle back here. Viper pushing from this side with these bomber cannons. Goes for a castle here, and Viper is more than comfortable. I'm curious about this castle, but I suppose... I mean, he doesn't want to get raided here, but there's a castle right there anyway. It is what it is. That is a castle. Confirmed. Treb's now coming from this side. Yo gets nuked by the bomber cannon shot. He's getting Blast Furnace now. He's got 21 camels versus 38 with Farimba. The cheap camels don't matter if you're always out popped by the better camels. And Viper will take out both those Trebs with attack rounds. Castle still going up over here. Two villagers building that. Viper wipes up the army from Yo, and this is... Uh, Another loss for Mr. Yo, it looks like. Yep. Wow, dude. Um. Yeah, even with that map, the pressure from Mr. Yo early, Viper still manages to hold. He pushes out one step at a time, as he always does. I think Camel Archers would have been the better play from Yo. I mean, he delayed clicking up to Imp. A long time. We saw he had 1,400 food in the bank when he finally clicked up. Like, that is that is too long to delay. You need more castles. You need more camel archers. I think camel archers win this matchup for you. I don't understand the tech switch into Hussar. Like like 
Dodimu, thank you for the 26 months. Appreciate it. Hey, Jake, thank you for the uh, gifted sub. Appreciate that as well. Axer Seb, thank you for the 400 bits. Seems weird, right? Like, what? Anyway, Mr. Yo is warming up. His audience is not going to like the fact that he lost Nomad there. I can tell you that much right now. He text switched because his castles were getting tripped. No, he text switched preemptively before the castles were getting tripped because that was what he was afraid of because he didn't have any stone because he only had eight on stone. If he had like 16 on stone and clicked up to imp faster, he would have been in a fine position. Plus his camel archers were over here. He wasn't producing more camel archers for a couple minutes. I think he just needed to focus on the camel archer numbers and he's fine. The Hussar switch was a reactionary thing to himself getting him, or sorry, to Yo getting himself in a bad position. Someone named Dave just messaged, messaged me on Grinder. Is it a sign? Sure. Follow me on Grinder and all my socials. Uh, Nomad is Yo's math loss. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Win for Malians and loss for Berbers. I'm still waiting for the blender. Good, you're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> Trump mug. <laughs> Dude, someone posted a great meme on my Discord um, today. Who was it? it? Was it was Polak or was it? I can't dis I can't tell who anyone is. Is that Polak? Probably Polak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. Microwave nuggets? Dude, it's, <laughs> it's 3 a.m., all right? Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> Sometimes it'd just be like that, you know? <laughs> I... I think you should just appreciate the humor from the meme and not make it about the nuggets.
All right. <clears throat> Golden Swamp. Here we go. Depending how drunk you are, it's much harder to burn your place down cooking nugs in the microwave than in the oven. Yes, it, it, actually true. My roommate almost burned our place down uh, cooking chicken nuggets in the oven when I was in college. A true story. The fire alarm was going off. He came he came back from the bar. He put the nuggets in the oven. And then he went and collapsed on his bed. Face down and fell asleep. Then me and my other roommate woke up to the fire alarm blaring and smoke everywhere. We go upstairs. We turn off the oven. We investigate. And there is a pan with little carbonized pieces of nuggets pure black pure black smoke everywhere my roommate takes the pan with an oven mitt goes into my other roommate's room throws the pan that is still fucking hot as shit onto the bed with him <laughs> and says your food's done <laughs> and then walks back to his room, closes the, closes the door, and proceeds to fall asleep. Fucking Giga Chad move, dude. Oh my god, I was dying laughing, and the roommate who put the nuggets in the first place was like, Oh my god, it's so hot! <laughs> it's like, what happened? It's hot! <laughs> anyway, we're on Golden Swap. Yo playing Vikings, Viper playing Koreans. We got the Battle of the Longboat versus the Battle of the Turtle Ships. The Longboats stack up, the Turtle Ships do quite well, but also Koreans are pretty good at other Navy. We see Viper exploring around. He's gone for one fishing ship here already. Yo at the cheaper dock, and he's got a couple more fishing ships. Viper's just going to attack these and be a nuisance. Yo can sit right in the middle of the water where the scout can't reach, and he's going to be fine. However, it's annoying, because Viper can reach from almost every angle. Oh, it, huh, huh. Remember the Hera Viper game on this map? Sick game. There's been a lot of... <clears throat> that was a nice voice crack. There's been a lot of... There's been um, some pretty good games on this map over the years. Some pretty epic games on this one. Yo is coming out with another villager. He's going to place a dock right here. Right? Or is he coming forward? He's sending the villager. Is he sending that to... Oh my goodness, yo. The villa's coming forward. He means business. He might go for a forward dock. It's, a, it's not super great with Vikings. Because you can't make fire galleys, right? And that's usually the purpose of a forward dock. So he's going to place it a little bit more defensively. On this side. He could actually, if he really wants to, if he if he's playing um, galleys against fire galleys, although I, I doubt Viper will go for the fire galley approach, he could wall this off and make it so that Viper has to approach from just one side and he can build up his galley numbers. There we go. Yo goes into the galleys, Viper going into the galleys as well. Viper's base, pretty good. Golds and stones, kind of at the back, the stone forward. Yo's base, pretty good as well. Most of the golds and stones in decent locations. Nothing like Vinchester's base yesterday. I mean, that was wild. All of the stones and golds in the safest possible position. Two, three, five, seven, Viper in his prime, legend. It's okay. It's not really great, though. It's not really great. It's prime numbers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You, whoa. You got to unpack that one. It's got a code. Nice. That's actually sick. That's pretty cool. You got to wait for that. Yeah.
The only Prime I know is Amazon. <clears throat> you know you can link that shit to Twitch? <laughs> Get one free subscription to my channel. All right, begun the galley wars have. Fletching for neither player here. Yo has wheelbarrow. Viper does not. So there's the eco advantage for Yo already. Both players have three fishing ships. Both players have... Well, Yo actually has three docks and Viper has only two. So maybe Yo can just outpop him in a second, provided he keeps his docks working. He's now going for Blacksmith over here for Fletching. Fletching coming in faster for Viper. Yo is attempting to wall this entire side. Yo, we got him! We got him! Yo, Hypnocat, thank you for the two months. That's right. You're thinking, oh my god, so many people just call me hit nose hypnoc 4 t But I can read lead speak, my friend. I can read it, okay? I grew up in it. I know. Nice galley micro here for both. Viper was trying to capitalize on having fletching first. Yo was trying to capitalize on having more ships. And the KD is in favor of Viper right now. Lukewarm! Thank you for the 10 gifted, dude. Let's go. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Fuck you all. You're, You're a real a one. Zeno, thank you for the year as well. But Lukewarm, thank you, dude. Dave Aldance. He's a real one. All of those potential primers. Gifted a sub. Imagine. Yo still has more galley skewed. Viper's just got one more. And Yo is going to seriously start out popping Viper here. Fortunately for Viper, he, the KD is in his favor. Though he does have one ship that's one shot away from death. And Yo tried to target that. Moved away at the last second. Couldn't quite get it. 1 HP out of 120. Imagine that. Like how... In what state of disrepair must this ship be in right now? It limped into the harbor. There, this is definitely like a Captain Jack Sparrow boat that he comes in. You think he's on the top of the mast, but really he's just standing there because the rest of the boat is underwater. And Viper's starting to repair it. Needs to retreat with the villager now. Normally, I'd say go for a demo here because Yo is going to be hanging around and you can you can hit him quite nice. But Koreans don't have access to demos. One of the weaknesses of the Civ, they figured giving them turtle ships would make up for it. Doesn't really. And Castle Age is on the way for Viper. Mr. Yo, does he have a market yet? He does. He could opt to sell his stone and try and go up a little bit faster. At the moment... I think he's going to win water just because he's kept these three docks producing and Viper hasn't. But right now it looks like Viper realizes this and is just trying to save as many galleys as possible until he gets up to Castle Age and gets those upgrades. I just went to join the Bald Club. You and I are brothers now. Did they accept your application? It's a fairly lucrative, lucrative um, group, you know? I don't know if Viper's going to save these ships. We still got ships over here from Yo. Yo is getting a little bit careless now with the Galley Micro. He's really trying to press the issue. He could go for a demo here as well if he wants to push Viper into his docks. And Viper is just kind of distracting him for as long as possible. He's going for another dock here. And will Viper go for their turtle ships is the question. They're very expensive. Very, very expensive. Unit. Viper got micro. Well, we'll see if Viper can micro his way out of this one. Should be an easy block for Yo, right? He should be able to clear up all of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Bye bye. Turtles! Turtle ships for Viper. Let's go, dude. We might see the ultimate in water technology. Turtle ships versus longboats. Turtles are so bad. You shut your mouth.
how did the galleys match up against them? Six pierce armor. The galleys are doing one damage plus the nine, eight bonus damage they get against ships. Plus nine against a turtle. It's not that bad. Unless turtles have anti-ship armor. They have eight anti-ship armor. Oh. Okay. The galleys aren't really doing any anything, are they? Oh my god, they're doing nothing. Boom. Boom. Viper's going to take this one home for some rest and rehabilitation. Only three turtle ships has chased this entire navy away. I don't know how much war galley is going to help. But we do have knights coming out for Mr. Yo. We also have a monastery here. Can't wait to see his monk get trapped in on this side. He's adding a second TC. Viper going for a third TC. Importantly though, Yo now has wheelbarrow and handcart. Viper is just getting wheelbarrow now. Villager count more or less even. The fishing ships are all gone from Mr. Yo. As Yo now gets... The War Galley upgrade. He has Bodkin. Let's see how well he does against these turtle ships. He's got a lot of weak ships, so he actually needs to kind of be careful here. And Viper's adding another one. Oh boy. Okay, so these things are very expensive, and they seem very weak because it's usually like two of them versus 15 ships from the other opponent. If you actually get a mass of these things, though, oh my god. They fry. They absolutely fry. And Yo is patrolling in. That's the worst thing to do against turtle ships because they got splash damage. Not against war galleys, though. I guess war galleys have too big of a hitbox. I'm bumping up against each other. And yeah, it's, it's not enough turtle ships. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Ignore everything I was saying. They suck. They're terrible. They're awful. Holy. They look cool when they collapse, though. Like, what are these galleys shooting? That's what I want to know. Let's examine this. What is that? Looks like something your mom would have under her bed. It's a ballista bolt? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Looks like the knight came in here. It actually died. It might have got walled in. And Viper goes for towers in the center, so he's going to start securing this area already. Korean towers on this map. One of the main reasons you're, you're... There's a couple reasons you're picking them here. You know, the discount, wood discount on the ships is good. Ability to make turtle ships is, I think, maybe a bait. We saw Viper fall victim to that. But the towers are a huge part of Korean success. If they can get the towers up in this area... With the extra range and the automatic guard tower and keep upgrades, they can prevent the opponent from getting full water control. And it's very, very difficult to take out, especially with a sieve like Vikings. <clears throat> Should Yogo Rams to kill those towers? No, if Yogo's Rams here, then he needs some uh He needs some land army to support the Rams. The villagers can just batter them down, right? And Rams are a big investment. Basically, what Yo needs to start doing is getting castles up on the, this terrain over here, keeping the navy alive, and then trebbing this stuff down slowly. He could also attempt to go for like um, some raids on the sides because Viper is investing a lot into the center area in terms of stone. Villagers over there, so raids wouldn't be that bad. Siege Ren's not great against keeps. They are. They are very good. And we might see Yo eventually go for Rams, but right now in Castle Age, probably not the best idea. It's actually killing all the houses from Viper. I like this. Just keep killing the buildings.
Force Viper into a more defensive castle. I think is great. And I'm surprised that Yo hasn't gone for like any pressure on the sides yet. Viper's saving up for Imperial Age. Yo kind of saving as well. He's at 69 villagers. Viper's at 81. <clears throat> and Viper just now goes for the barracks. Yo knows all about this stuff in the center. Yo is also grabbing some of the relics. Looks like Viper's gotten two. Oh my god. Yo is like, oh, the relic's over here. For sure it is. It's 100% over here. Oh, he's going to grab it. He's probably already got it. Probably already got the relic. That's what he thinks. But it's secure behind his walls. And he's on the way up to Imperial Age. Viper has access to Bombard Cannons. Huge advantage over Vikings. <clears throat> and Viper places the castle in the center. As Yo manages to kill this monastery, he could come over with a monk. If he's being sneaky, he could come over there. He could steal that. There's a monk over here. There's another monk on the way, maybe. Does Vikings not get Bombards? They don't get Bombard Cannon, though. No. They get Cannon Galleon. Which is weird, right? You feel like you could just take the cannon off the ship and put it on some wheels and it's going to be fine, but it's not the way it works. Ooh, Viper doesn't get any conversions here. He gets one conversion. That's it. And this ship gets immediately destroyed by its friends, former friends. As Viper goes for a tower, I think just to protect these relics. He's going to snag those relics. Oh, but the monk is coming in. If this monk can dodge this tower, he can snag this relic. Yo goes for a castle over here. A siege workshops as well, and it's going to be the ram play with some navy to accompany it. Viper will go for a siege workshop of his own. He will go for bombard cannons. Monk is still in a standoff over here. And careening is coming in on that dock. I think he's done the math. I think the dock should survive. Monk is still staring at that relic, but Viper's coming back for the other one soon. He's got to do some work. Viper does have ballistics, so I don't think that monk can grab that. Oh, sir. Trebuchet coming out here from Mr. Yo. Viper already has a treb set up on this side, and Yo will go for barracks and the stone in the center. And I don't think this castle's going to last from Yo, right? It was a good idea earlier for this castle, but as soon as Viper gets that area to set up with the trebs maybe this castle was a bit of a mistake maybe you wanted to put it a little bit further back i don't know at the front of your base or something could have been nice the rams are coming in but the villagers are here and yeah that ram gets immediately taken out the other ram though is being sent on this side and yo is making a tech switch into Champions, he's got the militia already coming out here, so Viper will have advance warning of what's happening. Men at Arms upgrade is coming in for him, and more Rams. And right now, like, nice. Treb took out the tower at the last second. Right now, Yo isn't super concerned about just that gold access in the center because he still has some in his own base and over here, right? Also has still an access over here. Viper isn't cutting that off yet. There's a castle on this side for Mr. Yo. And he's going to try and open up Viper's base and try and harass Viper on his main eco. Whereas Viper's just trying to secure the middle. And he goes for Onager as well. There's really no military production yet from Viper. It's simply fortifications, some expensive siege, masonry coming in as well. He doesn't have the eco... To go for many units. 
It's just a couple hand cannons. Cute. Could see a repeat of that Viper Hera game. You're right. More houses over there from Yo. Two-handed swordsman coming in. It's such an extended tech switch. They even made these researches slower. Or, sorry, faster than they used to be. And it's like two-handed swordsman just feels like the most useless tech in the game sometimes. You have to wait 50 seconds for the opportunity to click champion. Do towers give you pop space? Nope. Nope. Dungeons. Do dungeons give you pop space? I don't think so. Prepos do. Dungeons don't. Monastery has been taken out. Just a couple war wagons are being quite annoying on the front here. And Viper goes for more towers forward. Yo will go for a defensive castle over here. He still hasn't managed to push very far on this side. He's gone for archery ranges. And now he only has one two-handed swordsman. That's it. Although he does have more villagers over here. Is Yo like deliberately hiding the vills from this outpost? That's what it feels like. No. Just wasn't looking. Damn, dude. It's an ugly position for Yo. Viper's going to be able to defend on this side against the Rams. And yeah. These Rams will bait a bunch of that Onager fire into his treb, but it's not enough to kill it. Yo's castle under fire over here. It's just another game where it feels like Viper is playing super well, really defensively. But uh, he's taking his time and, he, and he's doing it right. And he's noticed the stone over here and he's adding more docks now. Oh, this could be problematic. This could be trouble for Yo. Could be trouble for our series here. Is the tower tech in? I don't know if he has some oh someone on YouTube was telling me how to say the tech name. It's like Oopsung. Oopsung. Hornley told you? No, someone th there was a YouTube comment. Give me some background on it. I still don't know how to say it 100%. Archer range has been denied. More ranges at the back here. Yo being very sneaky and making uh, switch into skirms. But Viper is getting back on water. Viper is still attacking this castle. Yo is still fairly wide open at his base. And there are siege engineers, infantry armor upgrade, conscription, war galley. Treb's pushing forward. Onager's pushing forward. And Yo... Has really been unable to do anything with this pressure over here. He's just going to have to hope that Viper nukes all of his own hand cannons. He does not. Maybe his own onager. He does not. Viper has enough gold to marry a princess now. True. True. And he hasn't even taken much from the center. He's just been mining the gold over here. He's had those relics. He's going for more towers over here because he sees the skirmishers from Mr. Yo. And Yo is going for more siege ramps. And I'm just like, I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, like, what can Yo possibly do? He still has some ships here, which is okay. But he can't fight this. Viper's got... More upgrades for his ships now. He's got the towers to protect his treads. He's got all the solutions to the skirmishers on both sides. And how many towers has Viper made? Just a casual 20 towers from our Koreans player. That's it. 
Still doesn't have the range upgrade. Could help. Cannon Galleon's coming in too. Lord of the Rings, 20 towers. That'd be interesting. Who has the power to fight up against the power of Mordor and Isengard and Gotblad and Korea and Center Island Tron? We'd have to think of 18 more names. Let us say the capital names, yeah. Minas Morgul. Gundabad. Dol Goldor. We can just keep adding in we can just keep adding in more names, you know? Hang band, yes. Yes. Dunlin? Dunlin doesn't really have any settlements, so then you then you could just say rune as well. You know? Angmar? Grey Havens? No, we're thinking of evil places. Umbar? Umbar is good. This game's over, guys. I'm sorry. I hate to tell you. This game's over. You know when Boromir, when you thought Boromir was going to be okay? When he only got shot by one arrow and you're like, oh shit. And then he got up. And then he got shot by another one. And then you're like, ah oh, damn. But then he gets up again and then he gets shot by a third one. And then you remember that it's actually Sean Bean playing the role and he's about to die. That was this game. I don't know, dude. Viper's playing amazing. I, I, uh, I'm sure Yo is going to take a couple games now because that's just the way that Yo is, right? He can look super underwhelming and then suddenly surprise everybody once he's warmed up. But Viper is playing really well. Four wins in a row for Viper. Eco is going to be heavily in his favor in terms of gold. And there it is. Food count in Yo's favor and the total Eco not too far apart. But the KD is convincing. Buildings raised. More for Viper. And yeah. Just better. Yo, Dave645, thank you for the prime, bro. <laughs> another Dave. Another day, another Dave. GJH, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Your name is not easy to say either. How did you come up with that? Is that an acronym for something? Tell us. How did you come up with GJHKHKG? What does it mean? It's German. I I think German's kind of a weird language, but I think they require vowels to be part of their words. I could be wrong, but I think that's a basic requirement for a German word. It may not sound like it, but I think it is. Win for Koreans, loss for Vikings. That's his first overall civ pick. Oh, God. Words cannot explain how wrong you pronounce the beautiful Balkan name Jassar. Should it be like Yasser? How is it supposed to, how are you supposed to say it? I've been saying it like Jafar from, you know, Aladdin. Jashar? I don't know. Why nearly walking? Yashar. Yashar, okay. Uphill cartwheel. Thank you for the three months, dude. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, yo. What you got, bro?
Where is Nilly? <clears throat> Germany. All in Oates is peak music. I think there's two types of people in the world. Um... People who like Hall and Oates you and uh, people who aren't real. Easy Dodge. Okay. Add that to my channel. There we go. Yo, Cole, thank you for the five months. Appreciate it. Who is Nilly? Everyone asking where is Nilly? Who is Nilly? No one asking how is Nilly? You know, no one's asking this question. What is Nilly? That's also a very great question. That's 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 one that like we haven't fully figured out. We'll need to do more research. I've got a team working on it right now, though, so. Yo, Saseki, thank you for the 11 gifted, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. He's back again. Love to see it. When is Nilly joining the cast? I don't know. I don't know. Red Jack, thank you for the three months. Saseki, thank you so much, bro. Uh, there we go. Okay. We're into the game, and it's going to be Golden Pit. Poles for Yo, Ethiopians for Viper. Viper's got a 4-0 lead. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> Look at Yo's resources. <laughs> this is the worst Golden Pit generation I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> This is so bad <laughs> with polls, too. This is so bad, bro. With polls, the sim that you want to play defensively against Ethiopians, Yo has managed to get both of his stones and both of his golds forward. And and where you might ask, are the stones and golds from Viper? <laughs> This is like, like, I have not seen something this bad in a long time. It's actually comical because usually resources are pretty good nowadays. Um, but this is like, this is just bad. Like, this is to the point where Yo might even decide to message Viper and say like, bro, come over here and look at this. <laughs> it might force him to play a little bit more aggressively, though. Maybe, if he doesn't lose his fill to the boar. There we go. What does he see from his point of view? Oh, he sees it all. He's probably laughing. If I know Yo, he's probably like, man, what is my luck today? That's just bad. Oh my god. But you know what? I've seen bad resource spawns before, like comically bad resource spawns, and it forces the player to play in a way that is unexpected. And it kind of gives them opportunities, you know? It opens up their mind. And you can see Yo trying to wall in front of this. He's just trying to deal with it, and it's just so ugly. It's hideous. TC in the middle? Even a TC in the middle of this would be kind of ugly. I have my phone volume turned 
the very lowest amount. Who is this? Oh? Spam. Hello? Wall to one gold and two stones and still have your other gold terrible. Yep. There's the barracks for yo. What does Viper see? He sees one stone. He sees one stone here. I want Viper to come over here and spot this. And just see if he says anything. You probably say it on his stream. But if he says anything to Yo in the game chat, like, oh my god, dude, that's horrendous. <laughs> Yo, Tyrotoxism, thank you for the uh, five gifted, bro. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there it is. There it is. He sees the gold. And... Nothing yet. He only sees a stone and a gold. He doesn't see this stuff yet. Stable up from Mr. Yo. Viper will be going for the archer range. He's got a beautiful mining camp back here. He can still put the TC over here, which would be nice. And he can take this gold pretty effectively. And he can take the stone. So nice mining camp. Love to see it. Hasn't seen this stuff yet. So he probably assumes the gold or the stone is like back here for you. And Mr. Yo is going to secure the front side of his base. Fully. We'll work at the back here. He's already starting to drop the farms. And Yo has added some scouts. And Yo is coming forward. And Yo is trying to get that villager. But Viper quick balls him. Of course he does. Easy work for Viper right there. Feels like Yo might actually be fine. Mm, yep. I mean, for now, he's walled up this area. It's definitely a concern if Viper goes forward with Ethiopians. And Viper should be the aggressor here with Ethiopians, right? It's just the nature of this Sib matchup. Yo will go into Skirmishers and Yo will complete the full wall. Crossbows could be a headache. Yep. Crossbows, Ford Siege Workshop, anything. Could be a big headache. But Viper is coming over on this side now. Maybe he clicked through. He's looking for holes in the wall. He probably assumed that Yo walled to the TC. Like, if you look at what Viper could see before this, he couldn't see that archer range or the wall. He probably assumed that Yo just walled here. He didn't do that, though. Fully walled to the other side. Yo would double the vills on food. I wouldn't put too much faith into that because now he has to relocate eight of them. <laughs> so now now Viper has two more vills on food until these farms go up around this new full work. KD00. Zero zero. Eco KD00. Zero zero. Watch out. Watch out for the bird. And Viper will just casually get the walls up. Viper's eco is looking better than Mystery O's. Resource is looking better. Large part because of the 100 food and gold he received reaching the next stage. Especially the gold is super nice. And Viper's just building up his archer count. He's sending these guys home. He's going to try and get up to Castle Age now. Get himself a nice little army there. And he sees the skirmishers from Mystery O. Nice value with your starting scout. First kill of the game. Big. I think it's valuable for Yo to kill that scout. I think you want that out of the picture. Because Viper didn't add a stable. Ah, he's adding one now. Okay, never mind. Favorite corner? Uh, lame. 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 Has to be this one, but they're all lame. They're all like that's at best, that's a B minus corner. At best, 
Chelsea going to win 3-0 today? They better, dude. I can't believe we lost 3-1 last week. And they fucking had a red card as well. Like, we missed so many chances. We? That's what fans say, you know? Are you not familiar with common sports terminology? That's what fans say about their team. I'm not involved in the organization. I mean, frankly, if I was, I think we'd probably be better off. But emotionally, I'm involved. I mean, I'm not I haven't really been consulted on any of the decision making. Pochettino will do the job. Pochettino looks like the biggest budget Russell uh Crow. Scouts are here from Viper, clearing up the skirmishers. The skirmishers from Yo are doing a great job against the archers from Viper, and this is all just kind of you know, posturing before for map position before they click up to Castle H. Viper keeping himself alive. Yo really needs this military because he doesn't want Viper to be forward on this position over here. Budget Russell Crowe. Dude, you know he does. Look at him. Looks like the Twinkie version of Russell, Russell Crowe. Like I hear the gladiator music being played on a recorder every single time I look at the guy. Right, Castle Age coming in for Viper. Dave needs to play football manager to show us how good he would be. Let me let, let's just start with not like paying shitty players fifteen million dollars a year. Or making big signings just because it's a big signing. Like, let's just actually start signing people that care. Would be good. <clears throat> Looks like a fit Russell Crowe, maybe. Maybe recently Russell Crowe. Castle Age on the way for yo. Castle Age is going to be in for Viper. You miss Hazard? Yes. I miss Conte the most out of everyone. Got my Conte jersey in the closet. Maybe I'll maybe I'll wear it later today when I watch the game. I miss Drogba the most out of anyone. Skirm's still pushing in. And you know what? Yo has managed. To hold the, the the Viper in his base so far. Where are the Viper's archers? Are they moving out? The crossbows? They are. And Yo isn't tracking this. And they're coming in towards this side. However, at his base, Yo's got a good farming setup. 23 on food. It's going to reach the castle age. He's not on stone for reasons. Probably because it's so far forward. And Viper still... Okay, he has seen this stuff. So he should pressure over here, right? He's going to come over here and pressure. But like... All four resources are here. Both stones and both golds. Like, you should be over on this side. I miss John Terry. I miss Drogba. Conte. Hazard. Czech. Lampard. I miss all of them. I met N'Golo Conte, not the manager Conte. That guy, no. No one misses him. Who would assume I meant Conte the manager when I said Conte? Who would assume that? Dave sounds so American when he pronounces footballer names. Whatever, dude. Knights being added here for Mr. Yo. 23 on food. 8 on gold. 
doesn't have enough for a castle. So he can't get Slata privileges already. And Viper is 3 TC booming. And look at this. Viper even has a TC in the middle of nowhere on a deer patch. Because why not? Right? Why shouldn't he? It's not like it's exposed over there or anything. It's not like it's, you know, golden pit where you usually want a TC in the middle. He's got a TC over there and a deer patch. It's fine. Chelsea has a history of selling world cast players at cheap prices, then proceeds to buy, buy flops for $130 million. I think the problem with Chelsea is that they listen to the fans too much. I think fucking Premier League fans are, are just more than almost any other league. They're wild. And there's so many just dumb fucks as fans that have so many different opinions. Like we need to buy, 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 buy this person, buy this person. Then the club tries to make itself look good. For the fans, the club should be trying to win, not make itself look good. Chelsea fans are terrible for that. Man U fans are awful for that. They just want flashy signings, exactly. It's a terrible way. All right. Knights are being pushed back. Yo is still at 54 villagers. He's not too far behind Viper, and he does have equal eco upgrades, but Viper is controlling the center here with crossbows. Just been back and forth in the middle. No eco deaths yet. KD fairly similar. And Yo has a TC on the stone, and the gold here is still fairly exposed, though. And he's a ways away for, from having a castle to lock down this center area, right? So Viper will go for a university. Probably go for ballistics. He's got double range production now in his crossbows and yo is forced into a siege workshop behind in defense yo also picking away on this side but viper's done a really good job he's gone for the outpost now don't cause stone with ethiopians to get extra vision as well and viper's just kind of locking down the map i wouldn't be surprised to see outposts over here as well from viper just full vision over everything and he's clearing up the forward knights for mr yo too He's done a really, really great job. He's even grab grabbing the relics. On a map with this much gold in the center, relics can matter, right? Because they give you an out if you get pushed off the gold for a little bit. Have you been to a Chelsea match? No. I've never been to the UK. I'm going to go at some point. Another outpost over here from Viper. And Yo will leave with some knights. Still not really close to a castle. Viper could drop a castle and then some. And he's bringing the villagers forward. And where does it go? Does it go here? Here? Forward? Forward seems like too much of a risk, right? Probably want it here. Maybe not. Is it here? Here, here. <clears throat> I don't like forward. Yo is closer to imp. Well, as long as it can't be ranged from the hill, you're fine. Right, as long as it can't be ranged from Trebs over here. Yo's going to go for the first castle here. It's very predictable. If you ask Viper, he would probably give you like a 99% chance that Yo is going to go for a castle there. So he knows. And Yo can't treb Viper's castle from this location. He's going to come out here, which is very exposed. Speaking of exposed, though, Viper has kind of been tracking these knights. He's leaving his villagers there. Castle will go up in time, though. And Ballistics is coming in. So he should feel fairly confident in his ability to defend this position. Yo is about to click up to Imp, and that food count with the poles is really starting to rise. Viper is still 11 villagers ahead of him. He's now going for stone walls on the sides. Very, very smart. He knows the risk about fighting up against knights. They're going to raid your eco. I wouldn't mind stone walls here as well from Viper. Like big old stone walls like this all the way to the center. Could be great. 
Probably won't do it though. It just goes for a castle. Gate. 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 Nope. He just wants to fight. Doesn't need it. Barracks being added from Viper. And it's a skirmisher switch from Mr. Yo. So skirmishers will counter um, the crossbows. They can also potentially counter the pikemen that are on the field right now and the halberdiers that will follow later. But skirm is not the most powerful option here for poles. I don't even know what you want to do here. What do you go with poles against Ethiopians? Assuming you both have like fully boomed ecos. Oh! Nice repairs there from Mr. Yo. Viper is trying to deny this castle. Viper's coming in with camels, with the crossbows. He has ballistics now. Yo needs to keep that mangan alive, and oh my god! Yo gets an absolutely brutal shot on the crossbows, and suddenly there's no army at all. For Viper, all of the crossbows go down. I didn't think Yo could range from that hill. I don't think Viper thought he could either. And he gets nuked by that shot. The Mangonel does go down, but it's done a valuable service, and suddenly Yo is an Imperial Age. Yo has two castles to make trebs. And... Viper's castle is looking very exposed. More ranges coming up from Viper. He just needs numbers now. Simply needs numbers. Crop rotation coming in for Yo for his farms. Be really nice for the poles. We've got Bracer coming in. We've got Ballistics coming in. I wonder what, what the play is here for Yo. Is it like... <clears throat> obviously, it's Trebs to take out the castle, but follow up. Are you going into Cavalier? Are you going into Winged Hussar? Are you just going to go extended skirmisher? Don't know. Going to be three traps before Viper can even get to Imperial Age to defend himself. This castle, he's just going to give up. You should go Cav Flood. It's risky, right? It's risky if you can't get in anywhere. And Viper is just pushing you back with one concerted push. Like, you, if you go Cavalier Flood, you have nothing to fight the main army from Viper. You're simply hoping he pulls himself out of position. And you can raid on the sides. Because in this choke pointy area, with pikemen in front and crossbows behind, your Cavalier aren't going to be very good. This looks so satisfying on the minimap. The full work going up with all the farms around it. It's going to be beautiful. Look at this food injection he's going to get. Oh, baby, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, food. Oh, give me food. Oh, more. Give me more food. Oh, my God. So much food. Right now, Skirmishers, it seems to be a good choice, right? Viper's waiting for chemistry to come in. So he can get Bombard Cannons. The Skirmishers are dealing with the Pikemen quite nicely. There's no second or third armor upgrade for the Polish Skirmishers. But right now, Skirm Treb is, is doing the job. Viper is investing a lot of stone into this castle. And he's going to have to bar start buying stone pretty soon. Because it's going to be four Trebs attacking it from Mr. Yo. However, Bombard Cannon's in the queue. He's got four of them in the queue. Stacking up your Trebs like this against a Civ with Bombard Cannons available to them, maybe not the best idea ever. Yo also going for Trebs over here. He could take out this castle if Viper doesn't notice. And yeah, that's why stacking them up is not good. Yo's like, I gotta take this out! He misses! He misses! But maybe now... Oh, he gets it! But not before the two trebs go down. <laughs> and the castle 
is still being attacked, but it's full HP now, so Yo will need to back up. He's going capped Ram and winged Hussar. 46 on food now for Yo. There's the Siege Workshops forward. If he gets his farming eco set up behind this, Viper really doesn't have that many units here to raid. So Yo could punch a hole in, in Viper's base and then just spam the winged Hussar. And even if Viper takes control of the middle, if Yo has all the techs in, he'd be in a good position to just take the game long, outlast Viper, raid him to death. Bomberkin is working away. Conscription coming in. Lots of Arbalists. Very difficult army to fight here. And Viper sees a Siege Workshop. And the Cap Rams are coming in. Cap Ram just to punch through this wall. He's also got a Treb over here. It's an army waiting to roll on this side. It's really respecting that castle, actually, with these Wind Kassar. We'd like to see Lechitic Legacy come in from Yo, and there we go. It's like he's reading my mind. It's coming in right now. Also, Blast Furnace is going to be really nice. So, three, two, one, bop, Blast Furnace. Sheesh. Sorry, I got to find his blacksmith. Three, two, one. Okay, eventually he'll get Blast Furnace. I know it's on the way soon and the ramps are working away but viper notices this he's over here he's going to lose this tc the treb could punch a hole through the wall here but the castle is down over here and suddenly viper has a lot of concerns he's going into show tells currently some Arbalists going down over here, but the castle will be taken out. Still, Yo has set himself up very nicely um, to have an eco that doesn't really have much gold supply. He's got all the farming techs right now. He's got the winged Hussar tech. He's got Lechitic Legacy. He's got the Skirms to help support them. And I think these winged Hussars should just beat Shotels, right? With Lechitic Legacy or trade evenly against them. They should. It's a lot of attack from the Shotels, but it's a lot of HP from the Winged Hussar. Viper will now have 90 vils on gold soon. Maybe. Maybe he will, guys. Maybe he will. He might have to transfer all of this eco over to the center. He's getting Halberdier now, but he's losing more to the Skirms from Mr. Yo. More Halberdier dying over here. Yo is still threatening on this side. And the damage control needed from Viper. I mean, there's there's a lot, right? He's putting out fires on the left side of his base. North of his base. He's trying to raid over here, but Yo's got that under control. He's also losing some villagers on this side. And he's trying to push at the same time. If he takes his eye off his siege for a second, it could be problematic. Elite Chotel is the solution. That Viper is going to attempt as Yo keeps pushing forward with these two Trebs. Does Viper have Royal Errors? I don't think he does. The Elite Shotel is in. Siege Ram on the way. It's not something you see very frequently with Poles. Siege Ram. The unique tech melts cap. The problem I have is that Shotels don't have very much HP to begin with. So it doesn't really matter how much damage they're putting out when they die so quickly. As you can see right here. The Shotels are dying pretty convincingly. Another castle over here. Winged Hussar just raiding like crazy. Viper has 35 on gold, 16 on stone, and Viper's down to 97 villagers now. He's trying to take out this castle. He repositioned his bomber cannons over there because he couldn't take out this one. 
And Viper is now in a position where he needs to buy food. And Yo can sell that food. And sell that wood, which he's doing right now. So Viper's kind of keeping Yo in the game in terms of gold income. Yo is kind of keeping Viper in the game in terms of buying food and wood. However, it's usually the player that is selling food and wood that turns out to be in a better position. As, wow, those skirmishers just got obliterated. All right, Skirmisher's still pushing in. Wing is still over here. Castle goes down from Viper. Only one castle now. And we've got four Trebs and a Bomber Cannon from Yo. And I think he can keep these Bomber Cannons at bay from Viper as he comes forward with these Trebs. He's sending the Hussar away, though. He's sending them over to this side. And Viper suddenly has a lot of show tells. And he does have Royal Heirs. He does have it. Good fight there for Viper. Let's see against this amount. The trample damage is still coming in from the Winged Hussar. Let's we'll see how the show tells fair. Yo is not even taking the fight. Okay, now he does. It kind of feels like a trade-off, guys. It's like equal numbers against... of. Uh, Winged Hussar against equal numbers of Shotel. Kind of trading equally. And that's much better for Yo. Because these Winged Hussar only cost food. And here they come. Oh boy, if Yo gets himself a good position. Could be really good with that. Trample damage, but Viper just calls the GG. And Yo with one of the worst maps I have ever ever seen probably the worst map i've ever seen on golden pit manages to win that one and that's because viper didn't really pressure here at all at any stage of the game he saw it he didn't pressure it um yo went forward with the skirmishers and the scouts early when we were talking about premier league sorry about that redditors um he kept viper in his base he kept track of the uh the crossbows forward here and then he was just harassing him constantly until he could get his eco in a spot where he could go up to Imp. He tripped down the first castle from Viper. And Viper wasn't able to respond to Wing Hussar. Can you show the map from the beginning? Yeah. 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 That's all you get, by the way. There's no other stone or gold or anything on Golden Pit. That's all you have. And this is Vipers. Viper calls it for no reason? What? What do you mean no reason? He's at 115 pop. He's about to get his Arbalist cleared. He can't take out this stuff over here. There's, th like, he's lost all of his stuff over here. He's got zero wood. And zero on wood. <laughs> Their reason resigned early. Look at that food collected for you. It's poles in action, baby. He probably meant Viper called it because of yo reason. Ah. Ah, I see. Maybe. Okay, Golden Pit, Golden Pit, Golden Pit. Win for Yo. And he's on the board. And I could see Yo tacking on four, five, six, seven win streak here, maybe. Opium. Sit up.
Thank you for the six months. Bob, thank you for the 11. Alf, thanks for the 11 as well. And Ian, thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate it, bro. We are halfway done with the day. We're almost three hours in. Nice. Two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up. Mercury, thank you for the 11 months. All the 11ers. Fuck you, Riley. I made your mom so wet. Screw no deployed a 24 hour interview. I'm not hosting the series. Here it is. To eight. Hey ho, let's go. I'm just merely casting. Let's make sure you go drop Hera a follow. I'm sure all of you are already following him, supporting him, but. Don, thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. Welcome back, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, friends and fellow agers, what's up and how are you today? Oh, no. Don, are you... Don, Don that is some serious robot behavior right there. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> Don? Chat GPT? Is that you? Are you kidding? Okay, okay, never mind. If it is, if he is a chat bot, he's an advanced one because then he follows up with are you kidding and he misspelled kidding and just used R and U. Perfect. It's a very nice greeting. I've been using this for more than two years. Okay, you're real. Cool. What's up, dude? <laughs> Don is, e Don is either just a very friendly ager or he's an extremely advanced chatbot. I am Gen X. Don, say something that a bot wouldn't say. Don is my father. Okay, a little bit too weird. I've been playing AWE before half of you were born and I'm still a noob. Okay. Confirm not a bot. Relatable. I I think you'd be surprised actually, Don. I think I think there's a lot of people that were born a long time ago. Have you heard about the Blender giveaway? There is no Blender giveaway. I'm sorry. It's not happening. I was born in 95? Oh, you're young, dude. You're still in your 20s. Oh my god. Maybe he means 1895. True. True. Why no face cam today? I, it's never a face cam, dude. I haven't streamed with a face cam in so long. I was born in 1990. That's right. What's the name of the song? Uh, it's White Room by Cream. Don't, I knew you were going to do that. You guys are so degenerate. Don't, mm-hmm, after Cream, okay? Dave, you're old as fuck. You're old as fuck. Got him. It's all relative, dude. I'm 1990. Am I old? You're the same age as me. We're ancient. Boomers. This song sounds like one of the Eurovision. Dude, Eurovision has never even come close to producing anything as good as that song. 
Okay, so Yo playing as the Mayans, Viper playing as the Britons, and uh, we're on a closed. And Yo will attempt to pressure, and Viper will attempt to greet it out and defend, because that's how Viper plays in closed. He either plays Britons or Chinese. He plays greedy, and uh, he tries to get away with as little military investment as possible while adding Eco behind. Yo on a closed, more of an aggressive type of player. He'll send the first few units forward. He'll try and uh, disrupt his opponent and then add economy and castle. You're forgetting about ABBA? Did ABBA come from Eurovision? Was it around back then? Okay. Then maybe I need to uh, revise that. I mean, Cream is still much better than ABBA, but ABBA is a respectable, a respectable band. For sure. Abba won with Waterloo. Waterloo. I was defeated. You won the war. I I do like Abba. I do. Eric Clapton is the greatest guitarist of all time. I think there's an argument for that. Probably not. Really? The greatest guitarist of all time is probably someone we've never heard of. Just like the greatest of all time for most things. Jimi Hendrix? I don't think Hendrix is, dude. Hendrix just doesn't have the portfolio of work. Have you ever listened to a full Jimi Hendrix album? Like the B-side as well? Because I have. It gets weird, dude. It gets real weird. And I'm not talking like... Like just... Groove out weird. I'm talking like weird, weird. You need to do more drugs? I've been incredibly high listening to them. But maybe I need other drugs. Fair. That That's honestly, that's probably fair. All right. So barracks coming up from Viper. It's a bit of an early barracks, but it checks out. He might attempt to go for the two militia drush. Ready. And he's sending the villagers out here to gold, or he might just be building this early in preparation for that range. Who knows? Probably just in prep for the range, but we'll see whether he queues up the militia or not. Yo will go up a villager earlier than Viper, and they're both going to be playing into an archer range. Next, Dave is going to tell us Michael Jackson isn't the king of pop. I mean, I'm not the biggest Michael Jackson fan, so I would probably... Yeah, I'd say he's the king of pop. I'd say so. There's very few generational musicians, right? Very, very few. Michael Jackson is one of them. Prince? No, Prince isn't one of them. No. Prince is very big. But Prince is not one of the generational... Well, I'm talking about, like, maybe five different artists or bands. We're talking, like, Michael Jackson, like, the big guys. Like, Michael Jackson, Elvis, the Beatles. Talking about the big ones. Big, big ones. Garth Brooks, get the fuck out of here. Men at Arms from Viper. Lil Uzi. Yes, Kira. Yes. Lil Uzi. Yes. Little Tay. Bob Marley. Nope. Rolling Stones. As much as I love the Stones and I think they're the greatest band uh, to ever exist. No, they're not generational musicians. Generational is like everyone knows them. Everybody knows them. And at least one of their songs. Everybody knows. ACDC, Metallica? No, dude. If I said no to the Rolling Stones, why this, Why am I going to say yes to ACDC or Metallica? Or Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd? No. Or Nirvana? No. Queen? No. Fleetwood back? No! I'm I'm not talking of my personal opinion. I would put many bands in front of the three that I put up there. Michael Jackson, Beatles, and uh Um Elvis. 
I would put many above them. I think there's many that are way better than them. But they're not generational. It's a different argument here. Beatles are so overrated? It doesn't matter if they're overrated. So the men-at-arms aren't doing anything, and Yo is sliding after them with the archers. But there's an archer follow-up from Viper. We'll just have to see how long it takes them to come over. Jimi Hendrix? No! You guys are missing the entire point of the conversation. You're not understanding the qualifications you need. To be honest, Elvis is not on par with the other two. I think he is. I think he is. I think he's a predecessor. I think without, without Elvis, the Beatles don't happen to the same degree. Frank Sinatra? Frank Sinatra does have quite the catalog, and he was very popular, and he had many hits, hits but... It's not... How about Queen? No, Queen's not even in top five of rock bands, bro! Like, you can make it maybe on the edges of the top five. We're not talking about talent. We're talking about notoriety. Impact on the scene. Here comes Fletching. You guys are just trolling me now. You don't understand. All right, so here comes the market for Mr. Yo. We saw Viper come forward with the men at arms. He had the archers following him. Sorry, YouTubers. I know you hate it when I get carried away with this stuff. I have, I have, I will explain it now. Why I talk to my chat. I'll explain why I don't have it on screen because it's distracting, number one. But I, I guess I'm, you know, playing into it by talking to them at the same time. Number two, I would get so bored. Just simply casting games. Even though I love this game, I would get so bored if I didn't have anyone to talk to or any discussions to have. And number three, I'm talking to them because none of that really mattered. The men at arms coming forward didn't matter. There was already walls here. The archers coming forward from Yo didn't matter. Viper was always going to clear that up. These archers coming forward slightly matter for Viper because he still has a scout alive. And he can pick off any of the skirmishers if Yo gets out of position. Yo has not sold his stone yet. And he's buying food and he's and he's selling wood, so he's trying not to sell that stone. He wants that stone still around. You should read that Reddit post again about casters not talking about the game. That guy is a fundamental that like I don't have a problem with that guy making that post, but he didn't have to like he was rude when he said it. That was the problem. I don't mind the sentiment. It's just the rudeness that bothers me. Like he made no attempt to understand why someone would be talking to their chat or engaging with their chat. It was just rude. It's fine to to think that I don't focus on the game that much. That's fine. Perfectly fine. I'll admit, you're probably right. And that's me trying to make a living as a streamer, you know? Because, frankly, if you only talk about the game, you don't get support. I think I'd have, like... I'd have less than half the amount of subs I have right now if I only talk about the game. You just don't. You have no activity in the chat. That's a nice snipe from Viper on that villager. Damn, dude. Oh, that was a unit. That wasn't a vill. Okay. It looked like a vill behind the mill there. So... Uh, Castle Age coming in for Viper, Castle Age coming in for Mr. Yo. They're not too far behind each other, and uh, Viper is ahead by one villager. Yo is getting the armor upgrade for the Eagles, and Yo is going for a second barracks. Only two barracks. And Viper is just going to go for additional TCs, and he can do that with the Britons, even with the lack of wood. Britain TCs cost 50% less, so he's going to be fine. Which sieve would you rather have here? In Yo's hands, I'd have Mayans. In Viper's hands, I'd have Britons. So, in my hands, I'm not really, I don't really enjoy playing either of these sieves, so I don't know. I think they're fairly equal footing. 
as the crossbow upgrade comes in. Bodkin comes in. Unfortunately for Viper, he's going to show up here right as the siege workshop completes. Good job for Mr. Yoda. Have four villagers on that siege workshop. He's going to try and force down um, this CC, and a scorpion is coming out here. So Viper will come forward with the crossbows. Maybe try and force the issue, but he's got to be careful about that siege workshop. Big time. And Yo will actually save these eagles. And he's going to save the villagers? No, one villager goes down. Poor woman. That was the only one. Viper tries to come in through the stone train. He can't wall across this. And that's kind of the theme of this map, right? There's always a way in to the eco. And there's no gold or no stone in these middle areas either. Two scorpions inside this siege workshop. And a monastery behind. Viper does have the extra range as Britons. He can just mess around with these scorpions. Like, yo, won't be able to find any real good shots as Viper. Wow, did he not take damage from that? That was a sick split at the very last second. Oh, my God. Um, yo won't find any good engagements in the middle of a field with these, right? He's going to have to hang out near the TC, near his repair villagers, and Viper can just snipe those repair villagers down one by one. What is Yo adding behind this? Really nothing. Just a couple eagles and a monk. It's now housed, which is unfortunate. Who do you think will cut through the middle first? I think someone's going to cut a little bit close. They won't realize until they're like four tiles away. And then one of them goes for a tower, right? Throughout this whole process, Yo is just falling behind on villagers. He's behind on eco upgrades as well. Viper already has wheelbarrow. And Viper, unfortunately for Mr. Yo, has a big group of crossbows. And he has the opportunity to add in knights in front of these crossbows, which kind of screw with the eagles, right? Or he could just go for the university ballistics approach if he's feeling very comfortable. And eventually we're going to get to a point where Yo is going to feel the need to come forward with like a castle. And then Viper can just cook him. Yo still has not added a third TC. Wheelbarrow coming in right now. I'm just, I'm concerned with the lack of production here from Yo. He goes for that third TC. As the villager does die over here. So Yo kills a few villagers. Equaling up the numbers just a tad. And Viper didn't even have... L what? Well, that explains how the Vils died so quickly. Got it. What on earth was that? Viper did not have loom. Crazy. And he sees the scorpions from a ways away. Plus two armor coming in from Yo. He's going to start to ramp up the production now that he's got three TCs. Fudiko is looking okay. He's got a decent amount of farms. Still missing that second wood upgrade, but he's getting more food in the bank. And he's got plenty of gold too. So if he really wants to consider pushing here, uh, more barracks is probably necessary, right? He'll probably want to go into stone for a forward castle. He's actually sending the eagles now, but Viper... Has already got the stables up, and he's already going knights. He's already got three of them. Not enough to take out these eagles yet, especially with the monks behind. As Viper was attempting to go for a forward siege workshop. Probably going to be stalled off of that. And where are his crossbows? They're coming back. This is exactly the type of game that Viper wanted to play. He didn't want to be forwarded. He wanted to get his eco up and running first. He wanted to keep his crossbows alive. And then start to add in some knights in front. To push back the eagles. With plus two, you could have cleared the expos on the right. He didn't know where the expos were. He didn't know where they were. Why does Yo have two monk icons? Because one of them is carrying a relic. 
Two of them are carrying relics, I suppose. Where's the other one? Uh, there's one right there and one right here. And it's considered a different unit when it's carrying relic. So it goes back to three now. Yono has three relics. As Viper pushes forward with a villager, maybe for a siege workshop. He's coming in here with the knights. There are monks from Mr. Yo, so he has to be careful on that account. And he also has to be careful about these eagles, right? Keep the knights near your crossbows. Probably important. Yo does not want to take this fight. Not with the knights in front. Ballistics now coming in for Viper. Going to be extremely valuable in these fights. More eagles over on the side here. Viper. A few idle villagers. And those guys will probably die. But he does have the TC to protect himself. And there's no mangonels over here from Yo. However, Yo is getting a fourth relic as well. And Yo has a decent villager count. And Yo's got a decent amount of eagles too. One bad fight. And this game turns on its head for Viper. He's played so well so far. He's played uh, very defensively. Very patiently. All it takes is for this crossbow army... To get hit by a good mangonel shot. And the game completely changes. Also struggling a little bit over here against the Eagles. Lots of dead villagers. 13 to 2 Eco KD in favor of Yo. Viper's still ahead on villager count. And Viper's going to be able to deal with the raids. On this side, he even adds another TC here. He's still pressuring over here against the mangonel from Mr. Yo. And now he goes after the repair villager. Splits away from that one. But the Eagles are on the way. And where are Viper's Knights? They are way out of position. Or they're dead. No, oh, he still has them. Over on the other side. And coming back this way. Imperial Age on the way for Mr. Yo. 36 on food is looking decent. 20 Eagles is looking great. The number of Knights is very concerning for him. There's a potential here that he loses all of his army before he gets to Imp. However, he's still raiding over here, so he's doing a great job. Viper still a long way away from a castle to maybe defend on that side, too. He was playing pretty well. He's not really tossing away his armies that much. The KD is pretty consistent. Again, nukes Viper with a mangonel shot, and just one pixel off means that the mangonel doesn't die. As Yo just defends on this side, waits for Imperial Age to come in. Both players housed at the same time. Kind of interesting. Viper will be saving up maybe for Imperial Age himself. No. Goes for the extra armor. And still is adding crossbows. He's got so many crossbows and he's advancing on both sides. He's going to have to be real careful with this micro. If he pays too much attention over on this side... He could get nuked by a mangonel shot, but it is Viper. If there's one player you want to be able to do this on two sides at the same time, it's probably him. As he doesn't pull that mangonel out in time, has more crossbows coming over on this side. This could be a good place to sit. Still trying to micro against this mangonel over here. It's going to be really tough for Viper to keep focus. Yo is just simply building his eagles. To a point where he can upgrade them. And I think that's enough eagles to deal with this army. Might lose some villagers on this castle though. And Viper squares off against the eagles. He's going to kill the villagers. Building this. And he's going to push in on this side too. At the same time he knows the eagles are over there. He's going to kill the monks with the knights. Gets a couple knights converted, but he's killing more villagers. And look at the eco KD. It was in, within favor of uh, Yo for the first part of this game. But now it's going to shift into Viper's favor as he kills a bunch of villagers. And he's really stalling out this early Imperial Age. Potential snowball for Mr. Yo. And Viper's about to click up. He clicks up right now. He goes for a castle. Now Viper's going to have to weather the storm for a bit. Until he gets to Imp and he gets his upgrades. 
He did a good job there. But the Elite Eagles are coming. And they have the armor. And Yo might even consider selling all his wood and his stone to get Eldorado. I think that's I think that's a really good plan. He gets iron casting instead and goes for Treb. Yuck. 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 That's not great. He can do a ton of damage here. And he's saving up for something. It might be Eldorado. I don't know. I, I don't really agree with the iron casting choice. But I guess it'll help him kill some of these this cavalry and the villagers faster. Yo, he's going to take out quite a few villagers here. Like, he's going to even up the eco KD and Viper calls the GG. Viper just calls the GG here, folks. I mean, if he saw it from our perspective, I don't think he would have called it. But what he sees is an entire eagle mass. He sees himself still a minute plus away from Imperial Age. And five Sybils queued with knights, but he only has four on the field. So he can't really fight this. I suppose if you don't know the villager count from Yo, if you don't know... Um, the fact that he's not really producing that many more eagles before this point, and he's only got 40 currently, and some of them are weak. Maybe you don't resign, but eagles are okay. Eagles are over here too. Probably worth a resign. He canceled him. No, it automatically cancels uh, when the game is over. Yo takes another game. Good job for Mister Yo. Nah, this was not over. I mean, he's going to lose 20 vils here. He probably loses... I don't know if he loses his main army. But he doesn't get to input that much, that many resources, right? He still has this stuff over here. still has this stuff over here. It's a best of 21. Maybe he just doesn't want to play it out. He probably assumed Yo was like full eagle production behind that. But he really wasn't. He can get all the inf infantry upgrade with the res and spam longsword for now. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. Longsword is not saving you from that. Longsword is putting you in an even worse position than you were. If, because if you're going longsword, you don't click imp. And then the longswords can't catch up with the eagles. And you lose all the villagers anyway. Longsword is usually an awful answer to eagles. Unless you have places that you know the eagles are going to try and hit. If you have an open economy, longswords are horrible. Okay. Um, we'll mark that down for Yo. And that's two wins in a row. Let's go, dude. So, we're on Cup. Celts for Mr. Yo. Dravidians for Viper. We've seen Cup before. There's some fish down here. There's some fish up here, and there's some gold in the middle island. These two pawns cannot connect. And in terms of how your base is laid out, usually you have all the res at the back here, as you can see from Viper. That's a weird little wood line. And your TC is completely open at the front. Same thing for Mr. Yo. You know where your opponent is relative to where you are. Cup always generates the same way. However, some of the additional resources are, you know, slightly different every single time. As Viper goes for a dock up here. Interesting. During this tourney, I only saw very disappointing games on this map, sadly. Oh, you mean like the game where we saw a full World Raider? That was pretty cool. Or the game where we saw demos denying uh, a castle? That's pretty cool, too.
Demos on Castle was cool. It doesn't make it a good game, though. Okay. Kel Paladin incoming. Hmm. Against Dravidians. It's a big call out. That's a big call out. Can you build on the marsh? On all of this terrain, yeah. Did you see where the roots are? You have strong foundation on these roots. Also salmon inside there. <clears throat> the general rule with like swampy terrain is if it's green, not this green, but like the like green kind of like this, but without the blue. If it's green, um, it's marine. And if it's blue, build something. Is birds considered food in AoE? Turkeys are. Right? Ostrich? Depends on the bird. Okay, so Viper is harassing the fish a little bit. He's also going for militia. We've got a barracks here from Mr. Yo. Being built with two villagers. And... Wonder what the strategy is here from Yo. It's not men at arms. It's not a rush. That barracks is simply too late. Will it be a stable? A Kelt stable with some spearmen added in? No, he's going on to gold. So it's probably just going to be some water pressure to start things off. He's already taken out the scout from Viper. Viper took out the scout from Mr. Yo over here and viper will go for a dock on this side and yo will have the fire galleys out and yo goes for a range <laughs> fantasy premier league deadline in two minutes update your teams now chads thank you fenris appreciate it Oh no, my fantasy Premier League team. I don't do fantasy Premier League. I haven't in years. I l I, 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 as soon as I get a little bit behind, I, I stop caring. The only fantasy league I do now is baseball. Baseball, in my opinion, from playing a lot of different leagues, I think baseball is the best for fantasy. Just so much you have to consider. It's crazy. The draft is just so in depth too. Hockey? No, fantasy hockey sucks, dude. I've played that many times. It sucks. It's too simplistic. I guess that is kind of the charm to it, right? Alright, so men at arms backing up. Demo on the way from Viper. Yo has to be very careful with these archers because the demo is coming. If you get two archers with a demo, that's value. You can see this demo heading over. He might just choose to get the fire galley, and he does. If he had waited a second, he could have maybe got the villager and the fire galley. But now he's in a position to really pressure these fish and this villager. And maybe take out some HP from those archers as well. And Yo is just waiting for this fire of his own to come out. As Viper makes another fire. He doesn't make a demo. Viper still has his fish alive at the top here. Yo still has two of his alive at the bottom. One of these pawns is being contested. The other is not. And Yo looks like he's interested in coming over here for a dock. However, the infantry are here from Viper. Is he tracking this? Is he going to see it? No. He's busy with other... He does see it. Well done. I played it many times. It sucks is the most gamer sentence ever. Yep. <laughs> you know it, dude. That's a demo from somewhere. Demo from here, not from here. 
unfortunately for Viper. And Yo's going to try and block the damage, but he's not repairing with the Vil. Simply cannot. He's gone for a stone wall over here to try and protect his villager. If he goes for palisade walls, that fire ship will uh, eat through them quite quick. So Yo instead chooses to go for stone wall. And he's going to need to run with the Vil. He's also going to need to get somewhere with these archers. Villager did die over here, and Viper is basically controlling this pond, and Viper is taking control of this game. Look at the resources from Viper. Looking super solid, right? 450 food in the bank. Still has his stone. He's got gold coming in, too. Just needs to worry about these archers at the back. But he should be okay. If he can, like, wall here, which I think he will do... He can force the archers into the TC, and Yo won't get that much damage. He also has a range of his own. So just a couple skirms is enough to deal with this. He's got an army forward he could pressure with, and most importantly, hold the army in for Mr. Yo with that threat. And he's taking out the dock, too. Like Viper's going to be clicking up the castle age, and Yo is still going to be minutes away. Nice defense from Viper. Is he going to try and trap him in? No. Dude, this stone and this wood line is almost like forming a solid wall. There's only one tile gap there. Yo will find an entrance into the back of Viper's base over here. Viper has an archer there. He's about to click up once he gets that second building. He's focusing on the blacksmith right now. And bop, he's up to the castle age. And Fletching is coming in. Yo will go for the market. Maybe sell his stone. He can only sell 100, though, because he used the stone on the walls over on the other side to save his villager around that dock. Skirmishers trying to take out the archers. Doing a great job there. Is Viper and like I said, just Castle Age so much faster, right? So much faster. Yo clicks up, but he really had to hit the market to do it. And he is a minute and a bit away. That's going to be massive. Viper. I don't know what he's going to do here in Castle Age. Is he going to add in like a siege workshop? Is he going to go for more dock techs to take control of the water? Or is he just going to simply boom behind this? I'm not certain. He's adding a few more fires. He's added another dock in the center. And he's going for a demo raft here. So maybe water control is his priority. We've actually got a stable with the Celts from Mr. Yo. So we'll see a few knights come out from him. Both gonna boom? You think they're both just like boom as in demos or like boom as in economy? <laughs> I think both, maybe. He was going to stone here, so he's thinking potentially I could get some extra TCs. What do we think about Woad Raiders in this matchup? I think I like them a lot. I like new Woad Raiders. They're good. Arumis aren't as quick. Arumis don't do as well versus buildings. Arumis don't have as much pierce armor. So it's like Arumis will do okay against Woads, but they're going to do shit against any everything else. As long as you don't send through an enemy-controlled pawn. That is a good point. Archers and skirmishers are forward here from Viper. War Galley is in. 
Yo gets to Castledge. He's re researching War Galley. Viper already has that second town center. And uh, Viper continues pushing. But the Knights are pushing him back. It's a pretty low investment for Mr. Yo to drive this entire army away. And whoa, 2 HP on that Knight. Let's see if Yo adds a Monastery right away. Hera would add a Monastery instantly just to heal that Knight. Just to heal it up. Be like, oh, imagine all the value. I could save 98 HP worth of value from that thing. But Yo is not going to do that. Yo just goes for the second TC. Probably want a third one shortly. And he's got the demos out here. Going to try and take back water control. Big demo incoming from Viper. Nice job. And Yo just sends in the weak knight because why not? Why shouldn't he? It's value. Did that knight get the kill? Ah, oh, that would have been so sick if that knight got the kill. Forward base for Mr. Yo. We should have expected it all along. Viper will go for a monastery and Yo is starting the push on this side. He's going to distract Viper's attention. He's still got units in the center. He's got more knights coming in from this side. And Viper is forced into a monastery and a siege workshop. So his boom is definitely going to be affected. It's only two TCs for both currently. And the game is paused. Dave, you didn't call the Mr. Yo side siege show this game? Uh, yeah, my brain's getting a little bit foggy. You'll have to excuse me. It always happens after like five or six games. It lasts a couple games and I, I usually end up tailing off onto some tangent or something and then I'll focus up for the next couple. It's just caster fog, dude. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. it happens to everyone. Okay, sorry having legs. Go. Viper could place a nice TC here. We got the deer, we got the stone, we got the wood. Oh my god. But that means that he's not really investing into the defense, right? He's got one mangonel. He's got to be careful with that mangonel. He's got a monk currently healing his wood line. However, these are kelp mangonels for Mr. Yo. I don't know if Viper deleted this farm, but I like the fact that there's no farm here. So Yo can't take advantage of the crop shot, like right there. Could have maybe extended his range by half a tile. Over on this side, Viper's army. I mean, it's not really that much of an army, right? Don't know why the wolf is in attack. Hello? Are you good? Are you... Are you good, bro? I don't understand. Nice shot there from Yo. Kelt Siege. It's pretty good, right? Dravidians get cheaper Siege, but Kelts. Fast firing. And he's going to be working away on that TC. He's eating the TC, and there's a third Mangonel incoming. And Yo also still kind of banking some stone currently. Dude, this wolf is just bugged out. <laughs> what on earth is happening with this wolf? It's so busy staring at the villager. It can't attack any military units. Viper will want to delete this farm. If he's going to engage here, he'll want to delete this farm for sure. And Yo will want to stay as far away from those monks as possible. Dravidians do not have redemption, correct? I believe they do not. That would make their siege monk push so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I would know if they had redemption because they would be just broken. <laughs> With that push. Oh my god. 2 HP left on this Mangonel. The archer's coming in. He doesn't get it. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He sacrificed his life. 
Yo, we'll try to take that. Villager just teleports out of the way. Beam me into the TC. And oh my... How have they not lost mang more mangonels here? That's wild micro from both of them. Finally, Viper loses something. Yo is controlling these four mangonels like an absolute god. I know he's Celts, but god damn, dude. Yo's kind of going crazy mode here. And now the TC is going to go down. Viper's trying to make a castle. The knights are coming in. The scouts are coming in. And he calls the GG. That was unbelievable control from Mr. Yo. Three games in a row. Like... So Viper comes out. He's he's screwing around with this Mangonel, right? He was going to have four Mangonels here. Pulls that one away from the shot. Pulls another one away from that shot. Pulls this one back. Pulls this one away. Tries to get the shot off there. Tries to get the Mangonel. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get hit by that attack round. Suddenly there's two Mangonels out here from Viper. Dodges that shot. Dodges this shot. Dodges that shot. Dodges that shot. He dodged another one over here. Dodges another one and takes out the Mangonel. And then it's just GG. Beautiful. Wonderful. Great stuff from Mr. Yo. All on the back of that side siege workshop. Pushing in the Yo special. The classic. And Viper's lost three in a row. More like Mr. Wo. <laughs> Mr. Wo. That was really good from Yo. Like we said, he just needs time. You know, he's got to get he's got to get warmed up. Three in a row. He's gonna be feeling a lot better about that. I think maybe Yo was pissed that he lost Nomad. That could be it. He's like, not again. God damn it. FM, thank you for the gifted sub. Shy Towns, thank you for the four months. Veritas, thank you for the two. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Appreciate it. Gotta get some WD-40 on those joints. Yep. Wait, you're spraying WD-40 on your joints? What's up, Faust? How's it going, dude? You still got that TwitchCon 2018 badge? <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> Never took it off. Beautiful. I want to go to a TwitchCon once, but I think I would just, I think it would just be one of the most unbearable moments of my life. I never liked, like, when I was going to conferences and stuff for my jobs, I always hated that networking culture that people had. I hated it. It was just unbearable to me. And I feel like that's just TwitchCon. If you're around other, like, partner streamers or especially affiliated streamers that are trying to make it big, I think it would just be, I would need to find some people that were chill and just hang out with them and, and view the whole thing as, like, a, a people-watching activity, you know? Networking is cancer. It's not, it's not like people are just trying to be successful and stuff, you know, they're trying to go about it their way. And I'm sure some people really enjoy it. I just, I it just, it is so unbearable to me. I don't know. Something about it just throws me off. Beers and Belmonts on a patio for Twitch count. Oh, it sounds great. Networking usually feels fake. Yeah, because both, both parties want something, right? And they don't particularly care about what you want. They're just pretending to care about what you want so they can get what they want. It's an inherently, like...
it's just not very sincere form of communication. It's like dating. It's nothing like dating, dude. You're dating people that go in there feeling like that. You're, uh, you're finding the wrong people. Or there's uh, something wrong with you, maybe. <laughs> I do like, it is fun though, when you're at a networking conference or whatever, just at a conference in general, and you find someone that also hates everything about it, and you connect on your hate of the thing, it's great. I love connecting with random people about hating something. <laughs> it's amazing. Those are always the best acquaintances, you know what I mean? <laughs> That is networking. Yep. Oh, the misery. Yeah, you can you can just be joyful in your misery, connecting with another person, you know? Remember to give them your card? No. God, it that used to happen too when I was an exchange student. Oh my, oh my God. I think I know where the hate comes from. I think I know, I think I've isolated it. When I was an exchange student for Rotary and I went to Finland for a year, we went to a bunch of different Rotary conferences pre-exchange and, and a couple post-exchange uh, with all the other exchange students, right? And there was probably 50% of the people on exchange are normal. And 50% of them are just, like, weird. Like, just really weird. Like, collecting buttons weird and putting it on the, the coats and, and, and trying their best to get 100% out of every situation, but it means that they're missing out on all the stuff that they would have found if they weren't putting so much effort into it. You know what I mean? And trying to network and handing their little business cards out to everybody and handing their buttons out to everyone and trying to collect as many pins as possible. And oh, God. Did Dave like sell me hockey? Yes. I still eat it from time to time. There's a place near me that uh, sells the exact sell me hockey I like. And I have to be very careful because if I eat one, I will eat the entire package. Any fins in chat? Listen to the silence. <laughs> I like Finnish people in general. They're pretty chill. I like them. Very quiet, but that's fine. Your first step to getting along with the Finnish people is to be okay with not saying anything to them for like 20 minutes. You just sit in silence and enjoy each other's company. Or pretend like they're not there. It's fine. And then you have a you have a framework for success, you know. Except when drinking. Oh, they're they're fun when they drink though. Sometimes until until it, ooh, until uh, you get the one guy who gets real depressed. <laughs> then uh, de is it depressed or repressed? Probably repressed. Probably both. Anyway, Serengeti coming in to Tars for Viper again, and Yo playing with the Hunts. So we've seen Huns on this map lose before. I think Huns are still undefeated 
or no, 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 not undefeated, definitely not. Opponents of the Huns are undefeated in TCI so far. I think Huns have not won a game. And uh, Viper playing as Tataras, I think he's 2-2 two and two so far with Tataras on this map, if I remember correctly. I see you watch Night on Earth, too? No, I've never heard of that. What is Night on Earth? Finland is the country with the most people with depression, right? It's also listed as the happiest country on Earth, so I don't know. Every time that stat comes up as happiest country on Earth and they have Finland as number one, I'm like, huh? That's a bit weird. But I think it's that's different indicators for that. For happiest. I've heard that Huns might not be Huns anymore. Yeah, maybe not. <clears throat> you can be happy and sad. Okay. Corner check. Oh, that's a good corner. Oh, that's a classic corner, guys. Just ignore this. Classic corner. That's like an A-plus corner. This one's a good corner as well. Serengeti has consistently the best corners. That is a cool corner. Now, that's a nice corner. And that one's a good one. To, I can't decide. I think this one has to be the best corner. F followed by this one. Then this one. And then this one. But they're all A corners. At least A tier corners. <clears throat> this year's Eurovision Song Contest runner-up is about finish... Introversion and alcohol abuse. Wow, can't wait to listen to that one. Those corners were trash? What? All right, so Feudal Age is on the way for both. 19 population up from Yo. And uh, we've got a 20 population up from Viper. Viper just pushing in the ostrich, pushing in as many as he can. Yo continuing to push as well. And that's how you get away with these fast uptimes, even with uh, with the nine villager start. You should just keep pushing in resources, right? Can't afford to go for those um, farms too early. Can't afford the wood. So you're going to need as much food as humanly possible. And you need the fast food sources. And that's the zebra, the ostrich. Also means that you won't come out and scout your opponent early. Viper has no idea where Yo is. He could go over here. Yo has no idea where Viper is. He could go over here. But I think they're both going to scouts, so they should be fine. Even if you go to the wrong area, it won't take you very long to get to their base. So there's a stable coming in for Viper, or sorry, for Yo. Wood upgrade, farm upgrade on the way, and the walls are coming up, and I like this. I like this. Go for the walls as the Huns. Don't be afraid of the walls, please. That's what I've been saying with this sieve. Now, I don't know if they'll listen to me because they've probably played way more games than I have. But from what I've seen, walls are important with hunts. So many players choose to play without them. Think there's a hole there you mean in the wood line i don't think so how many people think there's a hole here yeah there is one <laughs> i was just as i was saying that i was thinking yeah there's a fucking hole right here <laughs> sometimes you just gotta commit sometimes you just gotta commit you know all right can the scouts get any damage not likely not likely at all Just scouts for Viper. And Yo continues the wall. I like this so much. I don't like the fact that you're walling to the relic. I think I would like something over here. But can't walk through relics anymore. So Viper would have to wait for a monk to come that way. And Yo will simply make do. Wall to the edge of the map. Walling with Huns. Amazing. Great. I think it makes the sieve so much better.
Viper did a palisade. Did Palisade a tree tile against Hera in their match, though, to get inside? Viper already... I mean, that Palisade didn't matter at all, right? It finished the game 10 minutes before it would have already finished. I think Viper had that game won regardless. Hera tried that strategy twice, and it failed spectacularly both times. Giving up the hunt in the center of Valley. And I don't think... I Like... I don't think it's going to get any better. True, just saying he's absolutely playing the, 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 le, that level of detail, true. But he also kind of did that because he had the villager forward anyway. Right? He didn't have to send it all the way across the map to do it. Now, what Yo should do is hide these scouts behind this rock. You can't see the outline of the scouts behind that rock. Viper will never know. Yo will just be in the back of the base and Viper will be like, unless he's patrolling the spears, which he probably is. But <laughs> Viper will be like, where did he go? I don't understand. Where could he possibly be? As long as he's not looking at the minimap to see the red dot. And as long as he's not patrolling the spears, there's absolutely no way that he would know that he was there. Yoshi build a dock and also a demo ship and put it behind the rock. I like the way you think. I don't think you can, though. Actually, that rock is fully in water. If you look at the shoreline, it is fully in the water. Crazy. Anyway, Yo's resource is looking really good. He should be able to click up first. Um, Viper, Scouts, were unable to get into Yo's base. Eco KD 0, zero Actual KD 0, 0, and full HP on most of these Scouts. I mean... Wheelbarrow coming in for Viper. Will be a slower castle age time for him, but a steadier eco going up, and yeah. It's going for a second stable. He's going to be fine. Uh-oh. And Yo gets out of it. Just fine. Dave, you made them wall, and now Serengeti is ruined. I mean, it's pretty rare to have extended feudal damage on Serengeti anyway, right? We usually get to Castle Age as it is. It's just going to be full night production for Mr. Yo. Viper does have Wheelbarrow. But Yo has three more vills. And Viper has more adult TC10 than Mr. Yo. Arena Getty. Okay. Somebody touch my Serengeti. Bloodlines. Is it step lancers? Is it camels? Is it knights for Viper? That's the question. We know what it's going to be from Yo. Might get the light cav upgrade if he still has some of these left over. Viper's been chasing these for a long time. That's the second time Yo has almost been stuck in uh, between two of Viper's armies. And Yo is actually adding in more scouts on the way up. He does take out a scout from Viper, which is good. We look at the HP comparison, and Yo has more. Even with more scouts here. Or same number, rather. But now Bloodlines is in, so Viper actually has more. But Yo has added in more scouts into this equation. He takes the downhill fight. And he's pretty heavily favored now in this engagement, assuming the Spearmen aren't involved as Light Cav Husbandry comes in. For Mr. Yo, does he decide to add in a second TC right away? It looks like it, right? Second TC. Third, maybe? Third? 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 Maybe not. Scout for Scout. Yo is going to win this engagement. Viper is coming with a Spearman, but it's Light Cab now, and Yo gets away with a ton of Light Cab. Viper 
Only having one scout left over. That's actually a really good clear up for Yo. He can now be pretty confident adding in some monks as well with his army as he adds in the third TC now over here. And it's camels from Viper. Camel, 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 camels. Yo, we'll need to back up with the knight. He's going to lose it, but he's going to draw the camels away. And now he's going for the monastery. The camel is slightly faster. Dead. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Janosh, what is that? I'm trying to decipher that. Is that R R Rudy sabotage <laughs> in emotes? Oh my god, disgusting. Okay, so forty-two villagers for Viper, forty-seven for Yo. Wheelbarrow is gonna start manage or er, mattering now with more farms that are being added in. Viper has twenty-six on food. Like Viper's got a really good food eco. My only question is, like, does he switch into Cavarcher? <clears throat> Tatar cab archers should be better than Huns, even though Huns get them cheaper. Tatar late game should be better than Huns. I think Tatars are stronger. I think so too. The Paladin advantage is in favor of the Hun. That's disgusting that those scouts managed to sneak on in here, but at least they died, right? At least they died. Yo, Paladins and wins, maybe. Paladin is a good unit in this matchup, I think. I think Huns is stronger, really? I don't know. The Tatar tech tree is, uh, is better, I think. Their cav archers are going to be even better in mass, right? The Hun cav archers are going to be cheaper, but the Tatar ones are going to be better, especially if you have a hill. Um, camels potential for the Paladins. The Halbs, I mean, they don't get the armor, but they're still good. Still Halbid ears. Kashik as well, you can add in. Step Lancers. It's a lot. Do you think Hun should get Step Lancers? Probably not, but I don't know. Villager count is even. Wheelbarrow has come in for Mr. Yo. He's still missing Heavy Plow, and he's going into Pikeman. What is the strategy here for Yo? He's gotten one Relic. Looks like Viper is going to snag the other ones, and he's sending Lycav around to find the Relics and to make sure that Yo doesn't grab them. And let's see what Viper can see. He can't see this Relic. He can't see this one. He's sending a Monk out here, and he can't see any of that stuff. Where are the other relics? I only see two here. Where's the fifth one? Am I blind? Is it like in Viper's base somewhere? Or is there only four on this map? Hmm. Yo coming with another. Oh, there's the relic. Okay. I don't know why that monk didn't show up as a different monk on... Maybe it's only Mezzo Monks that show up as different units on Capture Age. That's very strange. Anyway, Light Cap from Mr. Yo coming in. He's going to take out these monks here. Good snipes from him. He can even escape maybe with a couple of these Light Cap. Escapes with all of them. And he's taking a good fight against the Camels. And he's got the monks coming from behind. Viper's going to attempt to snipe these monks just like Vi Yo sniped his. And he's going to get all three and he's going to run away with the Light Cap. Unfortunate set of circumstances there for Mr. Yo as he comes forward 
with a Siege Workshop. Still doesn't have the armor on his knights, by the way. Viper's got the armor. He's got forging on his camels. Yo, only had bloodlines from forging. 4-4, four, four, go next. You believe in Mr. Yo, eh? You believe in Mr. Four wins in a row? Mr. Never Say No? Mr. Your Mom's a Ho? Scorpions. Clears up the camels at the front. Pikeman's still getting really good value against these camels. And Viper is trying to make the switch into Cav Archers. He's got the University coming up at the back. He already has Thumb Ring for these things. No armor on them, but Bloodlines is good. Thumb Ring's good, right? Cav Archer number's right now at 9. And he's thinking about a castle. Now the castle is going to be difficult because there's knights prowling around over here. And one of them gets converted. And there's a bunch of Siege and Pikemen and Knights coming from this area. So Mr. Yo really, really trying to capitalize on his production speed in Castle Age with the Huns. The fact he doesn't need to make houses and stuff is really good. He's going to snag this relic that he killed the monk from earlier. And uh, yeah, Yo is just trying to get that forward position firmly under his control before the Cav Archer Mass is there and before Imperial Age comes in. Uh, a lot of those were Yo's home maps that were won. I'd, I'd have to check. I mean, at this point, they've played the maps so often, and the, they have so many civs drafted that home maps are important, but they're not as important as, like, best of three, best of five. Uh-oh. Viper's going to try for a castle here. Doesn't think it's possible. Might just go for, like, a TC over here or something. And the Light Cav are actually killing Cav Archers. Wow, really, really good stuff here. Yo is whittling down the numbers from Viper. Viper's kind of trapped himself in a corner here, and Viper's going to lose more Cav Archers. He needs to avoid doing this. He's still only at 15 right now. The Knights are still pressuring on this side. Viper does find a good spot for the castle out there. The closer you are to danger, the farther you are from harm. It's a wise... Hobbit one set. But the knights are in. And plus two is in for those knights. Viper is on the way to Imperial Age. Mr. Yo is kind of keeping him under control. As Viper sends out more villagers to this side. He goes for another castle over here. And he's about to stabilize. Tons of villagers exposed. Yo is out here on the gold, and Yo is... Well, he's got Imperial Age Cube from somewhere. There it is, but it's on the way up. It's not that far behind, honestly. It's a minute and a bit. He's a mitt behind. A bit of a minute. And guys, would like imagine if Yo wins this. Like, what a series, dude. Four in a row for Viper. Four in a row for Mr. Yo. He's going for another Scorpion, and this would be the first win for Huns in this entire tournament. And he's doing it in the Mr. Yo way. He's got plus two armor on his cavalry. He's got Scorpions randomly coming out from his Siege Workshop. He actually walled with the Huns. And he's finding himself a really good engagement here. Lots of damage against those Cav Archers. Also had the Scorpions from behind getting some great hits. So Viper can't find any damage. And surprise, surprise, Yo is still raiding in the eco. Viper has Keshiks though. And Viper is coming out this way. He's getting that plus two armor. He's kind of moved a little bit away from the Cav Archer mass. Because he needed to go for Keshiks. But he's also lacking gold severely. And it's an extremely Viper move to just keep extending along the edge of the map. He's got golds over here he can take. He's got another TC over there. He's got this castle on this random hill where he never should have been able to get a castle. But Yo doesn't expect it. Sees it now with that outpost. 
And oh, <laughs> yes, dude. Marauders coming in from Mr. Yo. That's my tech right there. The Tarkins are about to be spam from the stables. And Tarkins can be really strong against the Cav Archers. They have a lot of Pierce Armor if you have the res for Elite. And I'm looking at Yo's res. And I'm thinking he's got the res for Elite. I'm thinking he's got it. There it is right there. Elite Tarkins. So much better than the non-elite version. Better than non-elite Keshix for sure. I think they match up probably fairly evenly against elite Keshix. And here they are, guys. Oh boy, Viper's going to be running into some problems. I think he needs to go for Pikeman now. Cav Archer, Pikeman Halb. Pikeman or Halb from Viper. There it is. One of my favorite units in the game. Wait, did they? Did I hear that correctly? Did they add back in the Tarkin attack sound? Hang on a second. I thought I heard something there for a second. Light cap over here. Final armor upgrade is in for Mr. Yo. If you get enough Tarkins, you can just start nuking buildings. You can even come in here and nuke this castle if you get enough of them. If you're confident enough. And I think Mr. Yo is. I think Mr. Yo is feeling it right now. They did add it back in. Since when? Since when? Did they ever remove it? It's always been there? Oh, it's it's just been more quiet, I guess. It's still very quiet. What kind of Tarkin fan are you? I'm a big Tarkin fan, dude. Three patches ago? Oh. It's so quiet, I haven't noticed it. Keshix. Attacking the Tarkins. But the Tarkins are still raiding over here. Very, very difficult for Viper to deal with this. He's sending some Keshix forward. Or some Cav Archers, rather. And the elite Keshix are trying to clear this up, but the villagers are dying. And it's 195 pop for Yo and 160 pop for Ti Viper. Nothing in the queue. Nothing in the queue from Viper. And the Cav Archers... just have to run man they can't fight up against these things oh my god it's over guys it's over huns have a win it's simply happening here and who better to make it happen than yo on his fourth win in a row to tie the series up with huns with marauders with elite tarkins huns are back baby and yo is showing us exactly how you need to play them you wall you don't leave openings for your opponent and you take advantage of the fact you won't need to build houses, you have faster production, and you just go knights plus two armor, grab the center of the map, pikemen, knights, light cav, monks, scorpions. Your boom should be okay. And you make your way into either Tarkins or Paladin or what you want. 56 Tarkins on the field, by the way. 70 Tarkins made. 4-4. Four, four. Let's go. Eco in favor of Mr. Yo. He put pressure on Viper. Viper was never able to come up with the Cav Archers. He controlled them every single time he tried to move around. Viper then made him switch to Keshe because the Cav Archers clearly weren't working in Castle Age. And uh, here we are. 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Never thought of Tarkins as a cap counter. Elite Tarkin is pretty good against most cavalry options. Until they, like, Elite Tarkin will basically trade off against Cavalier. Um, Paladin, they're not great against, right? Keshik, they'll trade off against, more or less. Cataphract, the Cataphracts will beat them with full upgrades. But until that point, they're... Pretty good. 
Um, camel's obviously not something you want to fight against. Why not camels? I think you saw the pikemen, dude. Camel cavalry would probably be optimal there for Viper, but I don't know what position he was in. I have to go back and look at that. That pierce armor is wild. Yeah, it is, dude. It's eight pierce armor. Like. Good unit. I like it. My favorite unit in the game, probably. Who tuned out and came back in? Who came skulking back in after Yo was down 4-0? Who left? I know there's some levers out there. All levers, no believers. I left for dinner? Sure. And this week... Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, I'll get there, Bob. There's not a lot of time between games, dude. I'm marking them down, all right? Dun, 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 dun. Viper used three of his first row sieves in the first three games, so it's kind of expected to win those games. Eh, I, I, I don't know. I think other than like the first three sieve, first two sieves you draft, everything after that is just kind of. The first two are the most important ones for each player. I don't like the fact Yo picked Aztecs here, but it's Mr. Yo, so his drafts are. His, his, Yo's drafts are very unique. Wouldn't rock. Thank you for the gifted sub. Like, if you ask all the other pros, like, Yo's drafts are just weird, dude. He plays towards his strengths for sure. What are your views about Pearl Jam? Uh, it's kind of boring, dude. I don't really enjoy Pearl Jam that much. Pearl Jam is like the music you hear if you go to, like, the shop to get your car fixed. It's kind of background music to me. It's not bad. I just don't listen to it. Alice and Chains better? Same, same for me. I just... I, Not really a fan of Alice in Chains. It's okay. I've listened to it a ton, mostly because like friends or whatever like it. Um, but it's not something I'd put on the playlist. Follow Boy is what my college roommate listened to nonstop, so I don't like them. I didn't listen to them that much when they were super popular. I don't mind this song. It's good. We're going down swinging. Ba, 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 ba. Slipknot? I like Slipknot. One of the best concerts I've been to. One of the best, well, it wasn't a concert, it was a festival, but one of the best live performances I've seen. But Slipknot is also not something I can really play on stream because a lot only a, a portion of the audience will enjoy it. So it doesn't go, you know, I have like duality on my playlist. But I'm not going to put Pulse of the Maggots on my playlist, even though I like Pulse of the Maggots better than duality. You know? 
Because some people would be like, oh, what is this? I don't understand. There's so much anger. And that's fine. If there are songs that I like and I know most people will enjoy along with me, then I'll put them on the playlist. The songs that I'm going to enjoy and like a select group of people are going to enjoy, those go on my personal playlist to listen to when I'm not streaming. You know? That's fine. Ignore what everyone says and put what you want on. No, I can do that. I can do that when I'm... When I'm gaming by myself, you know, or when I'm on the computer or doing cooking or whatever, I can I can put that stuff on for myself. That's fine. It's not like I don't enjoy the music on this playlist. I really do. I've just found music that I enjoy and I know other people will as well. Bum, 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 bum. Doing cooking means putting nuggies in the microwave, doesn't it? No. No, I try and cook. If I'm either cooking a meal from scratch for myself or I'm doing Uber Eats. There's no in between. I don't do frozen food or anything like that. I don't do microwave food. I enjoy cooking. So that's like a relaxing part of my day if I have time for it. Like tonight, I'm, I've got, what do I have in the fridge? I went to the store the other day, but I can't remember what I have. I think I have some chicken. I've got some peppers. I think I have some broccoli, some leeks, some onions. I'll figure something out. Sounds like a stir fry. Yeah, it's going to be some sort of stir fry. Or maybe some sort of rice dish. I've got some... Yeah, I bought some rice the other day, too. I got some rice as well. Leeks underrated? Very underrated, dude. Leeks are, leeks are sick, dude. There's a really, really good flavor that comes from leeks. I enjoy it a lot. And they're not... They just look intimidating. I think that's why people don't buy them at the store. They don't know how to... How to um, chop them up, you know? They j It's just a big old leak. <laughs> it's like, what do I do with this? Once you figure it out, it's great. And you get a lot of value from one leak. Leak is easy to mess up? How? All right, here we go. We're on to Bay. Viper playing Malay. Yo playing Lithuanians. So Yo hasn't gone for Hindustanis here again. Remember, he did that twice, and he tried to get into Gulam against Malay, right? He's not doing it here. He's going for Lithuanians. Leaks are fantastic. Thank you. Leak is a German staple. Well, we asked how people could mess them up. <laughs> I I asked how you could mess up leaks, and uh, it's a German staple, guys. Don't worry. It's in a lot of German cuisine. I think we figured it out. All right, so Malay should be favored, right? Malay should just be the best Civ on this map. They get up faster. You can take control of the water here, and you can carry that forward into a faster Castle Age time, faster Imperial time. You could go Karambits because this map is pretty open, right, and just raid the sides. Or you could just go Bomber Cannon Arbalist, a more standard type of build, and you're going to be laughing. Lithuanians, if the game goes late, Lithuanian tech tree absolutely obliterates Malay. Like, absolutely just obliterates it. Right? So, if Yo gets there with a good eco, he's going to be fine. And this is good damage on the scout from Viper. But odds are Viper's going to hit those timings, right? Prevent Yo from getting there. 
like Latus is crazy against basically everything Malay has. Tower shield skirms are nuts. The faster halbs are nuts. You could just go skirm halb. And then the Malay are going like Karambit. And you add in some hand cannons. Skirm halb hand cannon or maybe hand cannon help. It's disgusting. Not sure if Yo can make it to Lake Game. That's the question, right? Can he make it there? All the single latest. <laughs> All the single latest. All the single latest. Put your left hand up. Latest skirm itself would probably GG it. I mean, just latest itself. What it, what, it, what do Malay do against latest? Or lightest or whatever you call it. Don't say help, because we've all seen help versus lightest. They die. Elephants? I don't even think... Dude, Dave. I I don't even think elephants do well. I think elephants are too slow and clunky. In equal numbers, the elephants should win, right? Because they should win the 1v1s. But I'm thinking the latest have just better pathing and can actually win that fight. I want to see that fight. I'm going to see 40 Malay elephants against 40 latest with the full relic upgrades. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that you miss the armor. If the unit is just ignoring the armor. Anyway, this is kind of a pointless conversation because we're not there yet. And Yo is going for a second dock. Viper sees that second dock. He's trying to delay this villager building this dock as long as possible. That's why he's attacking the walls, forcing Yo to delay by repairing. However, Yo is going to have the dock right as he hits Feudal Age. Looks like he's done the math. Three, two, one, pop. Oh my god, he did the math perfectly. He even calculated that Viper would be hitting his walls. And he placed the dock at exactly the right moment. Gave himself enough time to repair. And it's just a beautiful timing for Mr. Yo as he goes for two fire galleys. We have two fire galleys coming out here for Viper. But, well, his first one is going to be faster. His second one is going to be slower than these two from Yo. Really, really nice. Halbs might not be so good, but the cost benefit is great. Mm. 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 I think cost benefit is extremely overrated. I think cost-effective analysis in Age of Empires 2 is so overrated. It's incredible. There is no benefit if your entire army is dead, yeah. And it takes time to produce more military, so your opponent can just start taking out your buildings and stuff. In a vacuum, it's fine. Nice demo. Viper loses the scout as well, and Yo goes for a third dock. But there's so many other factors coming into play. It only matters if you can hold on, yeah. This map looks like pants, only upside down. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Here comes a demo for Mr. Yo. Viper's going to pull away his fires. And... He got him. That villager is quite weak from Yo as well. He's got three fires in the queue. No demos coming out from either player. And Yo is just simply trying to repair this fire galley until the other fires are coming out. And they are. Viper might even consider like coming in there and sniping that vill if he can. But he's just going to pull back. He still has three of his fishing ships alive. Viper's uh, got a better eco than Mr. Yo because he spent less time going up to the next age, which means he could spend more time creating villagers in Dark Age, which means he has 30 villagers against 26. Plus, there's some idle TC time from Mr. Yo added in there and the fishing ships as well from Viper actually working added in there. And yeah. Fire ship fights are the worst AoE 2 has to offer, in my opinion. Uh, I would probably agree. 
Yeah, I'd probably agree. Did Dave always say there is a vacuum giveaway? There is no vacuum, blender, home appliances. There's nothing, nothing being given away, given away on the stream. Okay. The only thing I'm giving away is my love to all of my wonderful viewers. And that's it. <laughs> Big demo. Oh my god. Viper consistently getting good demos here. Six to four KD. And I think Yo has produced more ships than Viper has. Can you pay my rent? Can you pay mine? I never got the reason for ships this fast. I think it is the most unrealistic feature on AWE 2. Ships should be very slow. Okay. Uh, no. Age of Empires 4 ships are slow, and they are so unbearable to use. Some of them, anyway. Some of them are fun. But stuff like, remember the Hulk? Oh, God. So annoying. You need to balance between realism and actually having a fun game to play. Okay. Fire's trying to take out the fishing ship. Viper's dealing with this, and Viper's going to go up to Castle Age first. And I don't know if Yo can continue to hold the water pressure. Here it is. That's a good demo from Mr. Yo. He's going to take out the fish. Viper's going to lose that fire galley, and Yo manages to save this one. He's also looking around for some hits for his demos. He doesn't want to go after the fishing ships. He'll just save his demo over here for a later date. Meanwhile, Viper has archers forward. Yo is also going for some skirmishers to defend himself, but Viper has walled over to this side with many, many houses, and he's out here taking the deer. And Yo is not taking the additional resources yet. Yo is just simply adding to his food collection. He's getting fletching to defend against this. And he is going to be really far behind to Castle Age. Throwing axemen carrying around infinite axes seems less realistic than the speed of ships. Can you imagine if there was a determined wind direction at any given point, given by like a compass, and you had to tack into that wind to get your ships to go into a certain direction? I think I might in uninstall the game. <laughs> I think I actually might uninstall the game. <laughs> if that were the case. Perfectionists love it. That sounds kind of cool. Oh, no. Dude, that sounds cool to you who would play it, like, for one day, maybe. And then never touch the game again for another two years. Empire Total War did that, and it was awful. Oh, God. I can imagine. There's a stable here from Viper. Are we seeing elephants, or are we just going to see knights? It's cool in a game like Valheim. I enjoyed Valheim. More RNG wouldn't help the game. Yep. Valheim is a goat game. I haven't played it in like two years, dude. Do you remember? The, do you guys remember the one time I streamed Valheim and Ice Cream spent all that time taming the wolf? He literally spent like he spent like two days taming a wolf, and then we went on a journey to find the final boss. And Ice Cream tried to take the wolf onto the boat with us, and we got about <laughs> five feet off the shore, and the 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 wolf the wolf drowned. <laughs> The wolf fucking drowned, dude. It couldn't get. It got on the boat, but it couldn't stay on the boat. The boat started to move, and the wolf didn't move. The wolf just stayed. The 
been a few major updates of Elm that are pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm just afraid of like sinking so much time into it again. That was when I was working from home, and I'm not gonna lie, I would be in like meetings. Teams meetings, and I'd be building a castle in Valheim, listening to people. I'd be very distracted. So this is the second TC from Viper. We still got a minute and 10 seconds away from Castle Age for Mr. Yo. He's going to be significantly behind in economy and villager count. He does have a few more fishing ships that he added in. We've got a second and third town center from Viper. They've made it so easy to build now. It's very pog. I built a castle on the highest mountain in the server. And I built it up to the maximum height you could possibly build it. And I had clouds forming at the top of my castle. Also, the little wyverns kept attacking it because it was in their territory. They just kept attacking my building. So I would have to go repair it every once in a while. Sound sick? It was sick, dude. It was sick. Like the roof was falling apart because it was it was above the limitations of the game. So I had to like build a secondary building on top of my first building to like overcome that. Wh who would you guys say is the best civilization currently? Um overall I don't know. It depends on the map. If you're talking about Age of Empires, which I'm assuming you're talking about. Could be Malay. Could be Malians. Could be Portuguese. Incas? I don't think Incas. Franks? No. Probably Malay or Malians. In competitive play, anyway. Romans? No. Portuguese? Maybe. Malay, Malians, Portuguese all up there. Okay, so Mr. Yo is at 50 villagers. Viper is very casually 20 villagers ahead of him. And Yo manages to snipe a monk. He's going to snipe another monk. He's gone into skirms here. Remember what we said? Or me, rather. Discussions I had with you in chat and maybe you watching on a VOD or on YouTube. Um, Lithuanian tech tree is sick. It's a lot better than the Malay tech tree if they get to late game. If Yo can manage to hold out until late game with a good economy, he should be able to beat Viper. But Viper is so far in front right now. He's 20 villagers ahead. He's on stone. And once he clears up this army, there's not going to be a whole lot for Yo to stop him from coming forward with that pressure that we were talking about. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Good to have you here. Siege workshop for Mr. Yo in the center. And he realizes that he cannot afford Viper having a, a forward pos position here. Like, he just can't afford to have Viper place that. So he's going to keep the pressure coming forward, even though it's hurting his chances to expand his eco and catch up to Viper. He's adding in more skirms. He's adding in a siege workshop. He's going to get the Maginal out. Still has the scout up here. Yo has some serious problems with keeping his scout not moving, but I guess <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter when you can see the entire map. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo is not scouting. Yo already sees the entire fucking map. That's why. <laughs> and Viper will probably play into what? Castle here for sure. It's somewhere around here. Could be a castle up here if I know Viper. It's over here. Okay. And it's going to build it with what? Two vills? Three. Washed. I'm such a washed caster. 
also gets that conversion because he got sank to db4. It's a standard conversion timing. He has the extra HP on the monk though, which means it's three hits from the knights. So, or four hits rather. So he survived. He's the boy who lived. No bodkin. He's probably trying to save Rez so he can go up to the next stage. He doesn't need bodkin immediately, right? And Viper's going to go up soon. But look at this from Mr. Yo. He's already on the way to Imperial Age. That's kind of crazy. He's also got stone potentially for a castle. That is actually wild that Yo clicks up before Viper. Viper's still going to be there before Yo because of Malay. But that click up, that age up, it's kind of sick. Losing water is Malay. Something went wrong. Not really. There's not many fish here. I don't think he always gotten that much value out of winning water. He just didn't want Viper to have possession of it. Toggle all LOS. I mean, for Viper and Yo. Yeah, they've got good exploration. Don't worry about it. This is good pressure from Yo. He denies university at 89%. That's his wheelbarrow TC, not his imp TC. And he's got a university forward he's going for ballistics and he's coming forward for a castle that's actually crazy that yo has gotten himself into this position and if he has forward pressure on viper that's a lot of time viper's gonna have to spend clearing that up and then pushing back the other way so that's time that yo can spend ex expanding his eco and getting into those options that we talked about and it's a more defensive castle in the center Viper played so passive. I mean, he's still 20 villagers ahead, right? And he's going into Karambits. He gets that infantry upgrade immediately. Viper is still in a favorable position in this game. He's still in a good position. I'm just surprised Yo has gotten himself up to Imperial Age at it with a competitive timing. Another knight is going to be converted here. The knights will help against the Karambits. The skirmishers won't be able to do too much against them. Infantry armor upgrades coming in automatically, but those converted knights are pretty powerful, and they're going to take them out. And this army is still back here, still giving Viper a little bit of a headache. Knights also coming over here. And take out all that forward pressure. Where are the Karambits? The Karambits are coming back to deal with the Skirmishers. Okay. Chemistry coming in for both players. Karambits deal with that. Karambits deal with this. And now Viper can be fully focused on dealing with this stuff. He's probably going to come up for a castle fairly soon up here. Right? Right here, maybe. Is good. Right, Viper? Somewhere around here? You know you want to. Oh, stone wall! That's where he's going to spend his stone. That's nice. I like that. You can't wall to the water because of this marsh terrain and because of those fires. Primarily because of this marsh terrain, though. Now he's getting elite skirm, thumb ring. Crossbows. I don't know, man. I don't know about playing... <laughs> I don't know about playing so passive against Lithuanians. You're going into Skirm? Like, why? Tower shields on the way for Yo. And the Trebs hit the villagers instead of the castle. That could actually... That actually matters. I think that castle would have gone down. The Trebs now hitting the Bombard Cannon. And Tower Shields is actually going to come in. And these skirmishers now for Mr. Yo with the full armor upgrades will have 10 Pierce Armor. 10. I repeat, 10 Pierce Armor. Two more than those Tarkins the other game. Ten. 
Not nine. Not eight. Are they buildings? Almost. They're towers with shields. Yo has lost that castle. Yo is Omega host. He's dealing with the situation, though. He's going for another castle up here, and he's going to take control of that stone. Still not controlling anything on the plateau, and Viper, of course, has that castle over there. As we see a Manganel trying to get a big shot against the Skirmishers. For Viper, it's not happening. Right now, Viper has 31 Skirmishers. Yo only has 12. And Yo might be thinking Winged Hussar as well. Only one Relic troop. Here comes Pikeman, here comes Glass Furnace, here comes Squires. Yo trying to make that tech switch still. Has he bought himself enough time? Viper has been ahead economically this entire game. He's still ahead in this game right now. Even with tower shields in, even with the tech tree possibilities of Lithuanians, Viper has a great position. And he's making the tech switches faster than Mr. Yo. He dodges around that shot. I don't understand the skirms from Viper. Yeah, I think it's like... I don't know. I think it's just to counter the, the skirms from Mr. Yo. I don't know if Tower Shields really makes an impact in skirm versus skirm battles. He still doesn't have ballistics, which is really important. Probably just to give himself a meat shield, right? Saw maybe he was floating a lot of wood and food, and he's like, whatever. Just gonna make a ton of them while I make my tech switches into other things. Seems weird, but it's working right now. So who's to who's to say it's wrong, right? Second armor upgrade just needs the third one, and he's getting it right now. And Yo has winged Hussar. He's got tower shield skirmishers, but Viper has a castle in the center here, and he's getting all of his techs behind this. Yo, Carlos, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Miles, thank you for the nine months. Just say, kid. George, not mine. Thanks. And now, Arbalest. Or Arblester, as the kids call them these days. That's the thumb ring. Archer range. You probably want that for the accuracy on your skirms, right? See right here, they won't if it won't affect the um, the fire rate, but it does affect the accuracy. So now it's at a hundred instead of ninety. And Viper is twenty seconds away from ballistics, which is incredibly important. And I'm surprised he didn't have ballistics until this point. But look at his resources. Very, very good. 60 on gold. 60 on gold. You might want to get that checked out. For Yo, 126 villagers, but only 35 on food. And, and kind of looking at food as the big tracker here on how well Yo's eco is doing. He's going to add in more production buildings, but he need, he needs food for the Wing Kassar. needs food to continue producing the Skirmishers, and 36 on food is not enough. As we see Elite Karambit Warrior coming in for Viper. Yo is going to start working away on this foundation. Wasn't here in time. Doesn't have Siege Engineers. So, less range than Viper's Bombard Cannons, and less damage to uh, damage the buildings as well. How does Yo come back? He keeps stalling. He just keeps stalling, and he tries to take out these castles. Very important to take out those castles. I like the fact that he's found his way over here, and he's sniping the trebs. Also like the fact that he's over here kind of controlling this area. And his army count is still super solid, right? We have 28 Karambits in the queue for Viper. Those are going to come out really, really quickly. And they're going to do pretty well against the Skirms. Do okay versus the winged hussar. 
But I think the most important thing for these Karambits for Viper is it gives him something to raid the eco from Yo. If he gets them back here, a lot of exposed food economy. Maybe he could kill the Trebs as well. You see the Karambits coming in right now. And he takes it out. Castles are still alive from Viper. They're not even on fire yet. The games are slow, Mountain Goat, um, because the players are so good. That's why. You can't get away with the super quick aggress aggressive stuff against players at the top level. You just end up investing too much. And they'll manage to defend. And this game's over. Another castle from Viper. We were questioning, right? He was ahead on Eco. We are like, why is he playing so slow? It's just Viper things. That's Viper. He plays slow. That's the way he does it. He can play fast, but he makes a, he, he chooses to play slow. And when he finally kicks it into gear, well, you find yourself in a position where you really can't do anything. And that's where Yo finds himself right now. All of this eco is going to get cleared up. This stuff is still being held on that side. And Viper has full control over the middle of the map with castles. Mr. Yo is over here. And he's trying to take out that castle. But Viper noticed the trebs. He takes them out. A couple latest here from Yo. And that's about all he's got. And he calls the GG. And Viper stops the bleeding. Five to four. <clears throat> Time for Viper to win four in a row, maybe. KD in favor of Yo, no surprise though. Lots of Karambits being produced and those things die quick. Nobody beats Viper four games in a row and it gets away with it. Okay. Except Yo did, though. Not this year, but 2020. <laughs> Do you remember... Viper's winning with all of these. Me two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up or I'll take it to Twitter. Hey, Daddy. What? Mm. Bill, thanks. Sicilian's band, yep. That is the random band from this set. Sicilian's bop. Viper loses a lot, okay? That's a hot take. I don't think that's accurate at all. An extremely hot take. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we just had to scroll down to Narnia, dude, <laughs> to find a second place. <laughs> no one's ever scrolled that far before, bro, <laughs> just to find a second place. <laughs> Was this it for today? No, we got one more. My college is thank you for the twenty three months. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Dave Channel, bringing you all the hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s, and 2000s. tens. there's a few. 2020s. Give it, give it five years before we figure out whether a song is good or not. Then maybe it goes on the playlist. Don't. You need time, you know? You need time to listen to the song a bunch, figure out whether it gets tiring after a period of time, whether it's actually a banger. Think, like, I don't know. There's plenty of songs that I thought were really good when they came out, and then they're just not so good anymore. So you just got to take your time, you know? Viper playing as Khmer, Yo playing as Persians. We're on Frigid Lake. Very popular Civ picks, probably the two most popular for this map. Persians get extra starting resources, faster producing docks, TCs, more HP on the dock. They're really good with the water contest, right? Khmer, well, they don't need mills for their farms, so they can farm anywhere. And on a map like this where you can't farm around the TC, it's fantastic. You can also hop into your houses. It's great. Mm -mm. Do you listen to any Paramore in your college years? My college years? No. I've listened to Paramore before, though. They're okay. I saw they were doing... Their latest album was doing well, right? Which was weird, because it's a band name I hadn't heard of for a while, and then uh, I heard that their latest album was, like, killing it. Is Persian TC still a thing? Yes, but you can't really douche on this map. Well, I guess you could, actually. It would be very unexpected, wouldn't it? This would be the most unexpected douche of all time. That'd be funny if they did go for that. And then the entire eco would be so far away as well. It could work. No one's ever tried it before. Why don't we try douching on Frigid Lake? Why is that not a thing? It should be. And it's a map where you can pick Persians and they're going to assume that you're playing standard, standard. And then you get completely blindsided by the Persian douche. It would be good. Like most, most maps, if you pick Persians, your opponent's like, ah, oh, I know what's coming, you know? It's border dispute or something really close. He's going to come forward. He's going to put the lead is TC, put a new one down and shoot me down. And they expect it. But on this one, ain't nobody expecting that. Too far apart? I don't know, dude. They're not that far apart. Second dock here for Mr. Yo. Investing onto the water. He's also... Gone into gold out here. That's for the fires. Viper has gone out to the gold, but he doesn't have enough wood for the mining camp. So I'm wondering if this is just enough to get a few shifts. It feels like it, right? And then he's going to go for a stable, maybe? Feels like it's just enough to get a couple demos. And he's in Feudal Age. He builds a range stable. Stable. 
Meanwhile, Mr. Yo, double fire galley coming out, and he's just trying to take over the water immediately. Viper will be harassing his fishing ships. The fire galley is out, though, so Viper needs to back away. Mr. Yo, I think it must be pointed out that Mr. Yo's base is not great. His map is not good. Gold is forward, but the gold is usually forward on this. The berries are okay, but let's look at the wood lines here, guys. Tragedy. This one's really far away. This one's super far away. This one's like in the corner, so it's good for late game. But it's an ugly map. Like, look at how close Viper's wood lines are in comparison. And he's got way more options. Corners are tragic. They actually are. This corner sucks. This corner sucks. This corner sucks. This corner sucks. This one's okay. Rigged. Yo has had some bad maps today. I will <laughs> give him that much. Yo has had some, especially the Golden Pit map. And this map is not great. It's it's not the worst map in the world, but it's not great for sure. The Golden map, the Golden Pit map, might have been the worst map in the world. Maybe. Archers being added in. Vipers on the wood line. Uh oh. Mr. Yo is going to need to fight back with this, but Viper's going to take that villain leave. One villager down. Yo does have control over the middle. Viper will be going for a demo, and he's going to try and target the fish from Mr. Yo. So if Yo realizes this demo is coming out, what he should do is put a fishing ship on each individual fish. It will give you more scouting to figure out where that demo is, and it also means that if Viper does hit you with the demolition raft... Um, it's only going to kill one fishing ship and not more than that. And Yo should probably also wall here. This wood line is hideous. This wood, this wood generation for him is hideous. But now with the lumber camp position there and the scouts running around, it's just ugly. It's, it's disgusting. And he's focused on other things, right? Two fishing ships going down to that. Might have been three, actually. Hang on a second. How many? How many did he lose there? two. He almost got three. He almost got three. And the scouts are over here now, too. Why no cam? I never have a cam, dude. I ne When's the last time you saw me with a cam? In Red Bull? There you go. It was actually King of the Desert when I was casting with Mem. It was probably the last time I was on cam. Tower here from Mr. Yo. He does have the fish in the center. And once he clears up this dock from Viper, he can add some more, but... Unfortunately for him, I mean, Viper is distracting him to a big degree on this side, and Yo has to go to Archers to defend against that. He doesn't have any scouts of his own. He's only got Spearmen, so that means he's going to be chasing this. And he can't let the Spearmen get too far away from his Archers, otherwise the Archers from Viper snipe the Spearmen. He's gone for another tower over here. And I think he had to buy the stone for one of those towers. And Viper is also committing back onto Fire Galleys. And he's repairing that dock. So Viper has a really solid approach to this. Also, Viper, if he wants to add farms, he doesn't have to put a mill around each of them. There we go. Easy farms with Khmer and houses nearby to garrison in. Really solid stuff from Viper. No, he only had to buy... He only had to buy... Oh, he made three towers. Oh, wow. So, yeah, he had to buy 200 stone. Three separate towers. Viper kills another Vil. Eco KD, 4 to 2. 
Run, run, run! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Back it up! Nice. Viper doesn't want to boom that either. He wants maximum value from this demo. Oh no, dude! No, he gets no value whatsoever! The greed. The greed from Viper. Max range fire galley shots. His demo is on staying ground such as it didn't yeet itself into a weak fishing ship. And he doesn't notice in time because he's paying attention over here. The greed doesn't pay off in the end. Maximum value, that's right, just for the wrong player. Yo's resources looking okay, Viper's looking excellent. Food is coming in real quick for him. He's about to click up. And he goes for another stable. However, Yo has cleared up the fire galley in the center. Maybe he can go back and try and take out this dock and then add some more fish to help him get up to Castleage. Because right now he's got seven on food. And it's just not a good situation, right? He's going to have to buy food to get himself up. His eco is already kind of nuked. Ooh. Town watch. Yikes. Trying to wall over on this side to secure this side of his base. Needs to wall over here as well, which he's doing. But it's still way too open. It's so open. Like, the, the wood lines just aren't here for yo. The wood lines are so small, and they're in, like, terrible positions. It's, it's a massive effort to try and wall this. Had to sub to the formerly number one Kakasta Kappa. Smiles. Take a break, bro. You know better than that. Come on, no. Discomfort. Thank you for the four months. Appreciate it. Eric, thank you for the five months as well. Is this the last game today? It is. It is indeed. I just tried to drink my coffee. It's ice cold. Literally ice cold. I forgot about it. There's still half of the coffee left. Oh no. Ginger beer. Thank you for the nine months. You just had a kid. It's yours, not mine. I hope it's not a ginger. <clears throat> nothing, nothing wrong with that. Alright, scouts are coming in. Scouts are attacking over here. Oh look, scouts are attacking over here. Castle Age is on the way for Yo, but Light Cav is about to be in, and Viper's pulling these villas wildly out of position. Viper's gonna collapse on the villas and oh god. There's not enough room in that tower for everybody. I'm sorry to say. There's just simply not enough room. And there's already villas in the Oh Jesus. Viper absolutely dominating this game. So many villagers are going to go down. Look at that eco KD. Just kind of spiral out of control. Yo right now is looking around for opportunities on how he can come back. And there's not many, right? This tower won't protect him for very long. Two extra TC is for Viper. 46 villagers for him. 37 for Mr. Yo. He's going to go into stables. He's going to try and just spam knights to get himself out of this situation. The score might be keeping him in a little bit, but a lot of that score is because he has the water pressure. And Viper comes forward with the Siege Workshop. Archers here. Knights in the queue. Camels for Mr. Yo. Villagers will be dead. This map didn't help you out. Yeah, it really didn't. He didn't lock it down very well, though. To be fair. Yo loses the camel. Yo really has nothing going for him currently. If it was any other player other than, like, ACCM, I think he would have resigned already. Viper's even, even micro with the archers. Like, why? We 
<laughs> he knows he's gonna win this. He's still micring around the tower with the archers against knights. It's fine. Fifty-two villagers against forty-one. Three TCs against one. One person can afford to produce units. One first person cannot. But don't worry, Yo has nine hundred wood in the bank. Maybe go for Omega Fish. That's the only way back. Fishing ships. Go. Because Yo... Planning on doing anything with his resources? Or... Are we just watching... 1TC Villager Simulator? It's a monastery. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Yo's just trying to figure out if he has any solutions to this problem that is Viper's superior map position, military, eco, everything. Don't worry, guys. He's raiding with two skirms. It's over. Score doesn't look too bad. It's because of the water. That's it. It's the only thing keeping him in this, I think. Just water. I love how Viper's like avoiding this TC even though there's nothing under it. Now there's a monk there, so now it's a good reason to avoid that. And that's a, that's a classic yo conversion right there. That was like minimum conversion time from that monk. Knight is now his. And Viper has gone for scorpions. Scorpions. Even bringing in the relics. 74 villagers against 50. Eco upgrades in his favor. Plus two armor coming in. Can Viper get him back with a fast conversion of his own? The answer is no. And if he doesn't do anything about these knights, this fire galley is going to have a field day over here. He's not coming back from that. I don't think he's coming back from any of this. I find it hard to be interested in this game because I don't think even with the most optimal play and the best Age of Empires we've ever seen, I don't think Yo can. I mean, I could get excited for this. Potentially. He does, you know, he has stabilized his eco. Like, he's got 26 farms here. He's still got 600 gold. And he's going for another stable. He stabilized his eco. He stabilized his base, too. Since he just needs 10 monks. Yeah, famous Persian monk all in. And now he's getting husbandry, bloodlines, okay. Viper just queuing up more knights. 36 on food for him. And he adds more stables. What's Viper's late game option? Literally anything. He could open Halb with a forward castle. He could keep spamming knights. Um, he could spam Light Gav or Hussar. I think the only thing he can't go for here is Skirm. And even Skirm wouldn't be terrible if you mix it in with another unit. <laughs> oh. Okay, wait a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm seeing... I'm seeing... an opportunity.
I am seeing an opportunity here for Mr. Yo. Viper is going to raid at the back here, though. And this, if Viper sends these in, this is kind of smart because he's going to send this stuff in here. Yo's army is going to force to chase, right? He's still got knights forward here to support. And he's going to try for this forward castle. And Yo will see this. And Yo will pop out the demos. And it's too late. Nope. Demos can't take this out now. Damn, dude. The knights at the back are just killing the camels. He killed some villagers there, I suppose. But the knights are into the farming eco. 105 villas for Viper. 61 for Yo. Yo calls it there. Viper wins two more. Good day of Age of Empires, six to four. That game was kind of underwhelming after the uh, nice raids from Viper early. You could say that Eco is just so far in front, so disgustingly far in front. How many demos to see Petard down a castle? I don't know about demo rafts. That's and <laughs> that's a lot. Um, I think it's eleven demo ships to take out a TC. Probably be like I'm gonna say like twenty six to take out a castle. Okay, six four, big. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to mark these down and we'll go into game number two, which is tomorrow or sorry, not game number two, game number 11 starting tomorrow.